It's great hearing of English air traffic control. <laughs> how prim and proper they are compared to the Americans. <laughs> Contact Orlando, one, three, four and a quarter. Three, four and a quarter. <laughs> uh. It's live, but it's not. Are we running? I believe we may be. Let's have a look on. Yes, it's on the uh, it's on the tube. I really am hoping though that we'll start losing some of that cloud over there. Well, I'm quite enjoying the cloud at the moment because it's. Well, not the cloud. Sorry, the sun. Like the sun at the minute is going to. Uh... Right. So here we are. Right, I think we're running. We are. Wayne, afternoon to you. How are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's rock with this. Um, the droid game. Well, good afternoon, Simon Brackett. Good afternoon. Bruce, how are you doing? Good afternoon. <laughs> All right. So, starting even, uh, even earlier today, guys. Ian Clarkson, John Kemp. How are you doing? <laughs> You're right, Chris. Linda BT, afternoon to you. Carl Humphrey, afternoon. Uh, Jim. Who let Jim in? <laughs> that still a thing? <laughs> well, it was. <laughs> it is now. Yin 777, how are you doing? Afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. Quite a nice uh, afternoon or morning, shall I still say? Or is, no, actually, it is. So we're uh, 12 minutes past 12. Very uh, lovely day here. But you can probably see a little bit hazy. We've got the sun right in front of us, pretty much at the second. We are live from the Docklands at London, London City Airport. Was the nine, the runway nine end of the runway, looking down runway two seven. We'll get some, hopefully, some nice arrivals and departures. Hopefully, we'll be all good. So, if you like an Embraer, uh, this is a string for you. <laughs> Jeanette, massive love to you. Hope you're doing well. Afternoon, Jeanette. Right. Hope you're doing well, Jeanette. We've got Terry Stapley, Stephen Owens, Norman Marsco. Lee Newcomb. Newcomb. How's it going? How are you doing? Girl Afternoon, so. Terry. Debbie YYZ, how are you doing? Afternoon, Matt Reed. Afternoon, guys. As you can probably tell, there's a, a familiar voice that hasn't been on the stream for a good few months now because he's been uh, pilot training. <laughs> <laughs> Joanne Mason, afternoon. Still Baltic here in the frozen north. Hope you're doing well. Right, Matt, you might have to stand a little bit closer to the, uh, yeah, the thing. Right. There's a warship over there. Yeah, I saw that earlier. There was another one. I don't right. know, no idea what's going on. Nick W, David Bone, afternoon to you. Tony Taylor, hi, fellow from uh, very cold Stratford E15. Love watching the planes take off and then fly over my flat. Brilliant stuff. And you probably see a Royal Navy. I believe that's a Royal Navy frigate over there at the back. Oh, I'd like to know what's uh, going on with that. Right, I'll tell you what then. Chris, let's... Chris knows, knows his boats. Well, some. <laughs> right, Nick W. Roy, how are you doing? Afternoon to you, my friend. John Kemp. <laughs> and John asking, what is the length of the runway here, Matt? Uh, I think it's 4,995 feet, but there we are. We'll double check, we'll double check that. that. With, a, with an app that I haven't actually used <coughs> on stream yet. It's an app called Flight. It's a flight planning app. Brilliant stuff. Uh, so we can have a look on here, get our chart up. Oh, 4,948 feet. There you go, guys. And David Simmons saying a Type 22 frigate, we believe. I did have a, an app called Ship Finder, but that will probably be blocked over there. So I'd like to know... Uh, oh, is this the Airbus? Yeah. No, this is Embraer, mate. Oh, is it? I look like a Dane 220. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I'm rusty. <laughs> He's very rusty. Joe Martin, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. Jim, afternoon to you. Daniel Watkins, afternoon. And uh, we have uh, NJ, Joe Martin. Hope we're all doing well. Happy Friday. The weekend is here. Very much happy Friday. Beautiful. So, thank God it's Friday. Little tiny bit uh, hazy for the second though, guys, but that should clear. Obviously, uh, we're live even earlier because it's uh, a bit busier now. So 
So we're just trying to get through the uh, the winter months, shall we say. Norman Maskell, afternoon to you. Mark Barr, afternoon, how are you doing? Michelle, afternoon to you. Someone said they was on uh, Alpha Delta. There's a flight in from Ibiza, unless we've already missed that. Or uh, they're heading out to Ibiza. Is that Alpha Delta one of the Embraers? Yes, one okay, of the Embraers. Right, I'll have a little look online for that. Uh, it is due <coughs> in at London City at 14.55. Right. Uh, if I grab out the map. Okay, right, they are currently on stand in Ibiza. They haven't actually left. They haven't even left yet. No, oh, okay. So uh, a little bit to go for that one, but uh, we should be here for that, I would imagine. <coughs> we will be. We will be. David Simmons, not a problem. We'll try and uh, I'll have a look. I did have a ship, ship radar or something like that. Yeah. Golf Tango Romeo, afternoon to you. Hope you're doing very well. Hello to you lovely lot over there on Facebook as well. Current time check, 12.21 in the afternoon here. Early. Ah, uh, Chris says, right, it's the Dutch frigate. Okay, I thought it was there. We are the Royal Navy. Very nice. And uh, so the time currently is 12.21. And the current weather, for those who are interested, as of 11.50 GMT. Uh, we'll, let, we'll let this go first and then we'll... Uh... I think I'm going to be blinded once again. No, we're all good. Well, at least it looked like we were all good. And that's uh, City Flyer 890 Whiskey. So the weather as of 11.50, Greenwich mean time, the winds are varying between 250 degrees and 330 degrees at five knots, so pretty calm. Uh, the visibility is more than 10 kilometers. Uh, clouds, we've got few clouds at 1,200 feet, so it's a pretty lovely day to fly. Uh, the temperature is a very crisp three degrees with a dew point of zero degrees and an altimeter setting of 1,008 hectopascals. You know, that's quite weird seeing hectopascals again. I've been used to inches of mercury the whole time. <laughs> uh, Jeanette McKenzie, thank, thank you, you so Jeanette. Much Honestly, very little something. Energy. Massive love, Jeanette. Absolutely brilliant. How are you doing? Uh, stay, uh, Matt, what did you say the temperature was out here at the second? Uh, it's currently three degrees with a dew point of uh, zero degrees. So. And a humidity of 81% and a density altitude of uh, minus 1,150 feet. There we go. So there you go, so Steve. It's pretty dense, so the aircraft performance should be pretty spot on. Pretty today. good. And where are we? Where are we? Alan James, afternoon to you all from Epping Essex. How are you doing? Uh, Paul Mountain, afternoon, Chris. Uh, hope you're well. It's a bit warmer. In uh, Pakistan, so I'm watching the cricket on the box. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. Yorkshire Rose, how are you doing? Uh, Jeanette, very welcome. Thank you so much. Honestly, I appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, thank you. Obviously, you'll notice, guys, uh, people that have been following the channel since probably about February. Obviously, yeah, we do have Matt once again back here, guys. So yeah, he's back from Florida. I should probably introduce myself to those who don't know me. So I'm sure most of you do know me because I'm always spamming videos on Facebook. Um, <laughs> and uh, those who have been watching streams before May, uh, when we, we were about 10,000 subscribers, we was, point, yes. we're now nearly on 30. So yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, my name's Matt. I'm uh, Chris's co host, if you like. <laughs> um, and yeah, I quite like aeroplanes and talking about them behind a microphone. So here I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, no, Vin appreciate that, Wayne. Thank you. Vinny Brophy, morning to you. How are you doing? Good afternoon or early afternoon. 12.24 in the afternoon. Wow. Right, so two seconds. Do -do. Oh, thank you very much, Debbie. Uh, you all as well. You all rock. You all, you all keep the channel going, guys. Right, uh, let's keep an eye out. Very dull. There's frost too. Even the odd flake of snow. Now water, wall, blue sky. Ah, oh, good stuff. So no, it's going to be a lovely, I feel, sort of uh, afternoon here. You can obviously see it's a bit hazy, guys, but that's just because the uh, the sun is very uh, much in front of us at this point. Yeah. Martin, brilliant stuff. Michelle, Ian Clarkson, all good stuff. Nicola W saying hello, Matt. And uh, no I'm Yeah, you got that. Happy days. Right. 
Yeah, I, I did not sleep last night because I was so excited for today. I've even said to like, all, my, all my friends whilst I was out in the States, like the one thing that's, I guess, mostly motivating me to actually come back is doing it this. It is doing this, <laughs> like, <Yeah>. literally. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. So. Oh. <laughs> uh, Jeanette McKenzie's saying, wow, well, steep climb. Yeah, that's... Uh, Very steep. Pretty, pretty standard at City because of the noise abatement. Uh, 25 degree climb. At least attitude wise. <laughs> and Trone Hunter, hello to you, Trone. Hope you're doing very well. Uh, I can see at the uh, second. Stephen Owers, no, I have not climatized. Uh, it was 64 or 18 <laughs> degrees um, shortly after Hurricane Ian, and I was dressed up similar to how I'm dressed today. Today, literally. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah, so uh, not quite, but uh, I am. I am getting there. It's a nice change, I guess, especially during the hot, humid summer. You're chilled out. There we go. Yeah. Uh, Hanzo Love Mork, afternoon to you. How are you doing? Oliver Brown, afternoon, Chris. Looking forward to another uh, great LCY stream. How are you doing, Oliver? Hope you're doing very well. So early here. I'll tell you what, I am going to just go and track. Um, I wanted to track, what did I see? The arrival of the Swiss that is turning up. Yeah, and sure. that should be. Let's have a little look. That should be in, oh, hang on, 12.32 that they reckon. Right, oh, okay, if that is nice. correct, so. That's uh, that's pretty handy, actually. Right, so it's over Martin at the second. Right, a, uh, over the A1M, right, okay, so. He's just about turning up, so we've got uh, an E2, guys, another Wookie, absolutely brilliant. Uh, Brian Williams, how are you doing? And uh, to the mods as well, brilliant. Little Emma, afternoon to you. Hope you're doing very, very well. Afternoon to everyone just joining us. Quite a few BA City Flyer uh, aircraft here on stand at the moment. Currently counting one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Currently aircraft on stand, or eight aircraft here on stand at the second. So very, very good. Just literally waiting for some uh, aircraft to turn up now, guys. That should be nice. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, uh, Karen Glenn, morning all uh, from evening in Australia, currently 11.27 p.m. Friday night. How are you doing, Karen? <laughs> Melvin Boone. <laughs> from all over the world. From West Coast America to Australia, we've got everyone. We have, mate. We've only just started. Yeah. So, 13 minutes in. Phil Ward, uh, great stream as usual. Friday's the only day that we don't have a... Uh, getting a bit congested with uh, four regular streamers. Yeah, I can't imagine that, Philip. Well... But it's all good. Yeah. It's being covered, so I suppose that's all a good thing. And we quite like... London, especially if you see all like signature streets. Yeah, this is my home <laughs> here, I would say. Uh, Miss Jesse, uh, Miss Jessic saying, uh, Afternoon to you, how are you doing? You're a modeler, afternoon to you, and you're a uh, normal mask of sound, one of the heavies from Bryce Norton, just gone over Whitton. Brilliant stuff. Oh. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, Vinnie Brophy saying, Any Logan Airs due this afternoon, Chris? Let's uh, have a yeah, look. have a look. I shall break out the radar and see what's going on. Well, we've got Matt here. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news but nothing no. at all i no, believe no. it's very early morning matt that one turns up or unless they completely and utterly changed it okay uh paul turner how are you doing hope you're doing very well andy o'shea hi class uh, hi guys calling in from bar ranks full uh, full cloud this morning must have first time seven months nice 28 degrees all very nice joe martin says 6 29 a.m uh, here in oklahoma brilliant stuff Wendy, Katie Price. Uh, yes, it is Katie. That's Matt now back uh, Hello. next to me. So there you go. Another little surprise for you guys. Tilly Chilly, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, Quinny. No, do you know what? Funny you say that. I, uh, I warmed up pretty quickly yesterday after I got a, a hot drink down me. And uh, when I'd made the walk back to the van, which was about 15, 20 minutes, I was all right. I put the, uh, the full heat on my toes, put it that way. Nice. So that's all right. Yes, that's good. 
I found a found a little way of stopping my windscreen from frosting up too much. Go on, put something over I've the top been, of it. No, I've been parking close to the walls of my house, like facing forward, ah. and that stopped it from uh, fogging up, so I could get out nice and quickly this morning. <laughs> so there we are. There's a little life hack for anyone who is trying to get away and then ends up being late because they forget they have to defrost their car. And uh, oh, hang on, where is that? Oh, that's not right. Let me have a look. We've got those people saying hello. And a big shout out to all the moderators. Uh, since uh, to, uh, over the last few months, uh, we've got a cracking team of mods who've been making sure that you're all behaving. <laughs> 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 Which uh, all of you are all the time. We absolutely love interacting with you guys. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Steve Ario, good afternoon. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Wendy, how's it going? Happy Friday, everybody. Brian Williams, happy Friday. Right, so hang on. We're supposed to be... We've got a Dash 8 that's turning up. No, hang on. I can't... It's supposed to be. We had... That thing's just disappeared. It's only arrival. 12.50... Oh, 12.54 now. That aircraft in so LX four five six. So that's what we're waiting for on that's the right. uh, on the Swiss guys. So that's saying sounds good. Uh, Jane Elizabeth asks, uh, "What am I doing next?" Okay, so yeah, actually, it's probably it's probably <laughs> worth giving a little bit of context of what I've, where I've actually been for the last seven months. So uh, I've been out in um, Orlando, Florida, doing my kind of flight training, and uh, whilst I've been there, I've done my uh, FAA PPL, so private license. Uh, with 100 hours of additional solo flying, uh, predominantly, well, by, by what I mean by that is, it's, it's actually amazing, it, like, we got quite lucky, we, we were basically given an airplane for about 4-5 or five hours, we had a list of like 30 airports all around central Florida that uh, we could fly to, and we could just go to anyone we wanted, stop off at the private terminal, like, um, all those FBOs, grab Enjoy. some free coffee and cake and then fly home, <laughs> so we ended up doing 100 hours worth of that, which was great fun. Um, and then I started my uh, multi-engine flying as well uh, in the Piper Seminole and now I've left there I'm coming back here then in January uh, I start I uh, complete my CPL skills test and start my multi-engine instrument uh, in the Diamond DA42 right, very nice so that's what's uh, going on now and uh, Susanna Bentley how's it going uh, Quinny drums and sings Bruce Goosey Hello everybody. John Carter, afternoon to you and Michelle. Yeah, there was a 747 at Stansted. Thing is guys, it's they turn up on certain days. We have to keep an eye on that. Yeah, I think there was a 737 Max at Stansted yesterday. 737 well. Max 10 on Wednesday, yeah. yeah. And it was doing flights all around uh, oh, Europe. On Wednesdays. Did you see it? No, I literally oh, uh, yeah, I was no. literally minutes. Normal mass school, brilliant stuff. Jeanette yeah. says she's very proud of you, Matt. Thank Happy you. days. Yeah, cheers, guys. Uh, Ian Meadows, uh, I'm not entirely sure how much it costs in the UK. Um, I think a PPL on, on its own is about, probably in the region of about 10 to 15,000, depending on where you do it and yeah. how long it takes. The cheapest I've seen is about 7,500 to 8,000 pounds. That's the yeah. very cheapest that I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, David, uh, David Bosan did, uh, did make use of feature on the. <laughs> No, he didn't, David, unfortunately not. <laughs> uh, Rachel Dawes, how are you doing? Steve Ario, afternoon to you. Susie Q, afternoon to you. And um, Wayne's asking, that's brilliant, Matt. What's the largest aircraft you'll fly in the next stage? Uh, that'd be the Diamond DA-42. Nice. So it's, uh, it looks like a tarantula. It's, it's great, I love it. It's a, it's a kind of twin, twin engine, variable propeller, four-seat, low-wing aircraft, retractable landing gear. It actually runs on jet fuel. Wow. Yeah, which is wow, pretty cool. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, but so far was the Piper Seminole, which is basically a Piper Archer or a Warrior um, with uh, another engine bolted onto it. <laughs> and no. Quinny is asking, Chris, are they building you a nice warm log cabin behind? <laughs> They're building a cabin of some sort, so I don't know. I'd like to see, though. Uh, Nick Knox, afternoon to you. How are you doing? Looks like we've got a few delays as well here at City. Yeah. Quite a few, so... And uh, Little Emma 1983, welcome to the optional Speedbird TV donation, we really appreciate that, thank you. And Ian Clarkson, it's currently behind us my friend, they're building a, uh, it's a cabin of some sort, but it looks like they're laying down like a, a patio set at the second, or a patio, or a bit of block paving or something like that. Yeah. 
Uh, you're a model of sun, yeah. The diamonds sound awesome. Yeah. Andrew Molson, afternoon, Chris. Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing, Andrea? Hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, so you've Ian, oh, sorry, well, no, no, no. You, so you've got uh, real updates once again, guys, from a, a real life pilot here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ian Meadows asks, uh, do all the trainees give themselves nicknames? Uh, was there a maverick? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no mavericks. No, no, no. Uh, we were just known as, at least by uh, our school, just as the Brits. The Brits, <laughs> literally. We were, yeah, a small group of Brits amongst many Native American students. Oh, it's uh, all good. And Ian Meadows, well, I would have hoped it would have been a Starbucks. Caroline Wright, yeah. afternoon to you. How are you doing? Jeanette, yeah, they're building my new home. <laughs> what a place that would be to live. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Yes. Wouldn't Probably. sleep. No, wouldn't sleep. Not Literally because not. of the noise, because of the excitement. <laughs> ah, that's brilliant, guys. So, a few delays, which is sort of unusual for uh, LCY. It must be something going on, potentially, in Europe. Yeah. Heather Reed, afternoon to you. How are you doing? Afternoon to everyone just joining us, guys. It's great to see so many uh, familiar and also for new names. And new names. Uh, yeah, it's back since, since I headed out in May with nearly since tripled. Left, you mean? Tripled, uh, tripled in subscriber counts. It's great to see so many new people. And uh, if you are new, welcome along. This is Speedbird TV, <laughs> live from London City, City, London Heathrow, London Gatwick, London Stansted as well. And hopefully London Luton again when uh, things start yeah. picking up. Yeah. Let's uh, let's say, yeah, let's hold out for the uh, the goodness. But it's brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Saki Rana, uh, the exchange rate must have hurt you out there. Yes, it really did. Uh, before I could put like $20 into my account and it would maybe take out 16, 17 pounds towards, uh, like, at a one point I'd put $20 in my account and it would take out 19 pounds 50. Wow. <laughs> it was pretty bad at, at a one point. Yeah, I've, I, I've, I've, I've missed quite a lot, I must say. Even on a streaming perspective, like since then, uh, Chris, you've done loads. You've been up uh, City Tower, uh, up South End Tower, yeah, yeah. Gatwick, yeah, Gatwick. Yeah, Gatwick um, Amsterdam, <laughs> Amsterdam, oh, yeah, yeah. E everything. Lots and it's been very, very busy, shall we yeah. say. And that's all thanks to your guys' support and Chris's hard work. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, Jane Elizabeth, thank you very much. So many delays. Matt, I'm just looking here at the depart. There's so, so many delays. Uh, I might be able to get the no tams up. Let's see if there's any no tams. So we're going to see. Guys, no, have we got any uh, current problems? But it doesn't look like. Oh, apparently on the 9th uh, from 6, from 0615, from 1415, it says that runway 09 is being chemically treated. Well, really? Whatever that means. So I would probably guess that that might be uh, anti-ice. Maybe. Potential anti-ice that they're like running salt through. Salt spreading of some description. I don't know if they salt spread runways or no. not. No. Like some, some equivalent sort of thing. Uh, so Cosmos Logic as well. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Honestly, I appreciate that. Really, really do. Thank you, my friend. And Debbie, thank you so much. Honestly, that means a lot. Annie Baker, afternoon to you. And you're a modeler saying uh, Grand Stuff at have begun the 72 hour strike. In protest of their pay i wonder if potentially that has anything to do with with this matt ouch no cosmologic <coughs> uh, donating one dollar 99 thank you. thank you so much really really appreciate that how you doing cosmos i didn't think uh, i thought that all the uh, the strikes were on their way to being sort of called off potentially yeah well there's a massive train one next week as well yeah i know Empty Vlog saying hi, hello, watching from Indonesia. How are you doing, oh, wow. Empty? How are you doing? How's it going? Uh, Darren Martin, good day, Chris and Matt. How are you doing? Thanks. Uh, Wendy, coldest it got was 12, and we all locked ourselves up inside. It was awful. I can imagine so. Uh, Michelle, don't they tell? No, to, uh, we've got them basically on the uh, on the radar app at the second with sort of what's going on, um, but it's sort of very quiet here, as you can as you can see. Very very quiet, guys. But we will get through it. You know what we're like. We're here and we're live. Yeah, so they keep chatting away, ask us questions, and we'd love to chat with you. Like, uh, who else have we got here? Karen Glenn, how's it going? Poz, good afternoon. Dave, uh, commentator, how are you doing? <laughs> started without me. Ah, oh, you should have been here earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pete Jateman, good afternoon from Coventry. A balmy three degrees today. Ouch. Yeah. We know the same thing. And William yeah. Simpson, afternoon chaps. Uh, making a great team there. Thank you very much, William. No, I know, Dave. Obviously, we went uh, we went live a little bit uh, earlier, but maybe we should have uh, stuck to the, 
the one o'clock sort of vibe actually no they are starting to uh, board some of them aircraft over there which is uh, which is all right nice so yeah you have to obviously bear with it today guys there are a few strikes that have gone on it looks like in uh, with sort of airports and things like that so the weekend might be a little bit iffy shall we say Paul Weaver how are you doing uh, Quinny <laughs> donation for the thermal underwears <laughs> thank you very much NJ yes you can mate <laughs> <coughs> I've got a brilliant story about the football. <laughs> we went to uh, to a pub in our town, uh, Sanford, during the England USA England, game. Yeah. Oh, I can only Let's imagine. just say we made quite a lot of noise, and the the Americans actually enjoyed it. <coughs> <coughs> they were celebrating about the draw, though. Were they really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. quite get that. Yeah, they were like, "Oh, we didn't lose." I'm like, "Yeah, but you didn't win either." <laughs> Russ, how are you doing? A little bit of an early start for us, mate. Yes, it is. Matt got here early, so uh, might as well just go with it. Yeah, Michelle. No, it's all good. We all all get there. So it looks like they are loading. Yes. One of them. So we're on a countdown. Wait, which one? NJ. I think they're loading the aircraft that's currently on screen that we've got the second, Matt, on there. Uh, NJ, yeah, go the Netherlands. Oh. I did have uh, saying that I put a little five pound bet on the Netherlands to win today. So, I love you. Yeah, just nice. a little cheeky one. Nice. <laughs> Ian, pretty much, yeah. And a Euro modular. Ah, uh, Euro modular. Don't worry, then, mate. That's all right. Better for us. Yeah, that is better for us. But we do know that we are aware of them, so it's all dependent. Yeah. Russ, brilliant stuff. Carl Long, happy Friday. Have a great weekend. You too, as well, Carl. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Ian Meadows. <laughs> uh, Rachel, Rachel Doors. Yes, uh, hopefully I could be start looking for jobs in a year or so. Who knows? Very Time nice. Time will tell. It's all subject to change. There he is. Looks like Stan. Right, we have, an, we have an engine start. I'm guessing it's the second one from the right because that's got its beacon flashing. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see if that is on the radar. Maybe we can get some information. Hazy. All uh, right, so uh, in front of us is Golf Lima Charlie Alpha Foxtrot, uh, which is a British Airways City Flyer Embraer E190. Uh, let's get some information. So it's a uh, manufacturer serial number 548, uh, X China Southern, 10 and a half years old. Uh, where is the delivery date? There it is. So it was delivered to China Southern in June 2012 and joined the BA City Flyer fleet in December 2020. Wow. And it's uh, leased from GY Aviation. As it, also, as it also was with China Southern. Brilliant stuff. And Aviation in 4K, how are you doing? Uh, Dave Commentator, we've also got a... Is that BA4455 uh, showing on radar? Is that going to Rotterdam, yeah? Uh, yes, that's the one. Brilliant stuff. 4455. Aviation in 4K, yes, I'm here. I'm back for good. Uh, yes, very well, Daniel. I'm, uh, I'm always good, my friend. And there we go. So we keep an eye on the Embraer just over there. Yeah, now powering that Embraer, for those of you who are interested, are, well, uh, is a General Electric CF34 and the accessory code is apparently dash 10E5. Oh, and I, I said and, there's actually two of them, <laughs> uh, one on each wing. Uh, Wayne Hartshorn, is there any updates when KLM will start flying the larger E-Jets into LCY? Uh, not to my knowledge, I haven't really heard anything. Not yet, no, I haven't heard yeah. really anything. I'm trying to think if the, is the E, is the 95 E2 even certified for City? I know it's, I it's being certified, that ah, will, but that's the okay. new generation, because if you remember rightly, we come and see, we, we had, well, I called the profit under ah, here, yes, didn't yes, I? Yes, 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 And yes, it yes, should yes, be yes, by... Yes. I'm hoping early next year, so it's uh, it's all good. Oh, okay. and Dave commentator, and this is how it was, Dave. It's sort of like the background technical information. It's also nice having Matt here because it's hard for me to try and do everything on my own with all of this sort of stuff on here. But now you've got both sort of aspects of the aviation side, so it's really really good. And Debbie will be there sort of early in the morning. I'd say anything between sort of half six and eight. Um, obviously, you'll know when we're live. Uh, Trevor saying a clear skies here in Brentwood. Brilliant nice. stuff. Right, so yeah, he's out a, on his. That's a taxi clearance. Oh, maybe maybe I'll get this up. Cosmos Logic, yeah. thank you so much. How are you doing? And Tiny, it is very quiet. There is a few delays here actually at, uh, at LCY. 
unknown for the reason. Uh, Stephen Owens, and we've got a BA Embraer inbound from Edinburgh as well. And also, hopefully, within about the next 10, 12 minutes, we should have the Helvetic. Yeah. We've also got a very generous $10 donation from Cosmologic. Thank you so, so much. Honestly, appreciate it, mate. Uh, normal mascot. Got some uh, good views coming over. You had a stance. Ah, right. Brilliant stuff. We've got a British Airways on the way to Edinburgh. In, in from Edinburgh. In from Edinburgh. Which would be quite nice to see. <laughs> Tina. She wants sleep. <laughs> Cheryl Colson, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. As I said, guys, we've currently got the uh, the sun right in front of us at the moment, so it might look a little bit hazy, but I'm sure you can understand that. Obviously, a bit of heat haze or a bit of sun haze here. It should uh, start to fade when the sun moves around. And there we go. Thank you, Tony Todger. Uh, Lee, it'll be anything. Well, I'm I'm going to be there early because I've got to drop my brother at the uh, at Heathrow tomorrow, so I'm going to be there um, early. All dependent on the. Uh, on the time but the earlier we start the earlier we finish I suppose that's a good thing yeah Ian Cosmos not a problem at all thank you so much mate Michael Painter afternoon <laughs> <laughs> right so I can see that aircraft I'm just about to see the landing lights over there in the uh, in the background Matt the aircraft that's currently on approach Alison Tidy afternoon right, to you yes, hope I you're doing well Did you get some information on that one as well go for it let's have a look let's break out the radar All right, so this is uh, also a British Airways Embraer E190, uh, which is registered as Golf Lima Charlie Yankee India, 11 and a, uh, sorry, y Yankee Oscar, uh, 11 and a half years old, uh, manufactured serial number 430 and delivered brand new to British Airways City Flyer in April 2011. <coughs> Brilliant stuff. I did tell you there's a lot of uh, BA are really sort of dominating LCY here, which is brilliant for uh, brilliant for the airport. Yeah. And they got a load of new uh, those Embraers, such as this uh, Alpha Foxtrot that we can see taxiing down there, uh, because in the end of 2020 they del they retired all of their 170s. Yep. Uh, all their tiny 170s. But I actually didn't realise it was as late as 2020. I thought they were kind of went ages ago, but it turns out it was in 2020 uh, due to COVID uh, that they retired all those um, little 170s and they replaced them with. A load more second-hand E190s. I did. That's it. And uh, who was that? Yeah, Russ. Sorry, mate. It's minus four there in uh, in Toronto. My apologies. And yeah, but you're all used to it out there, yeah, aren't you? <laughs> we're definitely not used to it here. And Ian Meadows, it'd be lovely if I could uh, get one of them uh, high-rise flats. But as I said, the ones that are pretty much top floor overlooking the uh, the airport, right behind the terminal, they're actually council-owned. Um, so I think that'll be a very long waiting list. Uh, for them, unless I could tell the council that uh, I'm an avid plane spotter. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, just tell them that you're uh, that you're an and then, and then they should uh, yeah. they should be okay. I was doing that on the airlines when I was flying domestically, like when I wanted to board first to have my kind of cheesy cabin photos. I just turn around and just say, "Oh, I'm a massive aeroplane nerd," and I board first. And some of them just gave me a weird look, like you're yeah. a bit weird. But and, there and you others, go. Other, others just got it. It was great. But yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Richie Smith, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very well, my friend. Good afternoon to everyone just joining us. Early starts here, company at 12.49 on the time check. Gary Glasgow, afternoon to you. We should have uh, some updated weather in about <coughs> two minutes. Hopefully. From London City Airport themselves. Thank you, Simon. Alright, so in comes the aircraft now. So this is, uh, yeah, yeah. This is inbound from Edinburgh, wasn't it, this one? Yes, sir. Jeanette, hope you're feeling okay. So of course our five and a half degree glide slope here at City. Massive flare. Well mate, fire mate, clean up before we're done. Nicely done. Fire mate, that's what Very nicely done. Beautiful. Uh, Ian Clarkson, thank you very much, appreciate that. It's uh yeah, it's 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 great fun. Ah, Dave. <laughs> We've got all hands on deck today. <laughs> but at the same time, uh, when we're going through all these comments and stuff, uh, if we do end up missing anything, if anyone does have flight radar out or radar box uh, or any other flight tracking apps, 
Um, please do uh, keep us updated on what's due in, due out. If you do have any uh, information on the aircraft, please send us all across because it uh, makes we our love lives everything. a little bit yeah, easier. Of course it does. Yeah. Medic One, how are you doing, Medic? Hope you're doing very, very well. Uh, Cosmology, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, it's, it's all about that extra sort of the technical stuff, guys. It's been brilliant. Richard Brown, afternoon to you. Hope you're doing very, very well. It's quite nice, I think, with the way the wind is working today. When they're all the way down there, you can actually hear the... Yeah, energy. you can hear everything. It's brilliant. Sushi, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very well. <laughs> Russ is counting down the hours for the single malt in hand. Michelle Johnson, don't worry. Beautiful. Direct headwind. I'm gonna have to change over the battery on that again in a second. I can uh, hear it. Joe Tattersall, afternoon all. Lovely sausage back to start the afternoon. Enjoy, my friend. Denise, all good. Hope you're, uh, hope you're feeling okay. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go. And he's off. If you want to change, I'll have to take the camera. And we'll do that. And then uh, got my hands on it now. <laughs> Always a struggle trying to wear. Uh, Ian Meadows, uh, the engines on the Embraer's are General Electric CF-34s. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on their thrust output. They're probably in the region of like 20 to 25,000 pounds of thrust. Uh, I'm not sure on an exact figure, I'm afraid. Do not worry. Right, I'm going to uh, just change over the batteries, Matt. That's all right. But I had a CF feeling it would do that. Yeah, but right. the CF-34s are quite versatile engines, quite a few... Uh, Quite a few aircraft use them. You've got uh, the Embraer 190 and all the all, uh, the whole ERJ family use it. Uh, Bombardier CRJ, uh, like the CRJ 700, the 900, uh, they use the CF-34 also. And uh, even military aircraft such as the uh, the A-10 Warthog, they actually use this, um, the same engines as well. Now, <coughs> when I say the same engines, it's all part of the same family. Uh, each engine is slightly different. They've got slightly different designs, slightly different uh, thrust ratings. Um, but they're all part of the same family. So the CF-34 family is actually very, very versatile. Brilliant stuff. Scott B, evening, uh, Chris and everyone from uh, Lone Pen, uh, local time, 1952. Uh, Friday evening, how are you doing? Lee Newcomb saying uh, great views. Trevor saying lovely sounds, brilliant stuff. Very yeah. chilled out here. Uh, Harry afternoon, just currently on break, waiting for the next plank to turn around at Gatwick. How are you doing, Harry? Hope you're doing very, very well. And Josh saying, found out my crew match departures for tomorrow. Uh, Heathrow got a 6.30 a.m. and a 12.30 p.m. We might catch the uh, the 6.30 a.m. <laughs> Maybe, but... Um, That's departure. We'll be focusing mostly on arrivals, I believe. Yeah. On 27, right. Josh, we'll have a uh, we'll have a look and we will see. Let's put it that way. And Debbie's loving the info, Matt. There you yeah, go. thanks. And Sushi, nice to hear the uh, inside stuff from Matt. He's been sorely missed, guys. <laughs> been doing well. So they're just pulling Nat Embraer over there. Uh, hopefully we're on the countdown now to the uh, Helvetic, which should hopefully be here, was due for about 12.57, we believe. Nice. CBL, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. With it, all this short field takeoffs that we've been watching as well, we actually had to learn how to do them ourselves. Did you read really? it? Uh, yeah, yeah, in the Archer and uh, the Seminole. Uh, the Seminole was, was, was really good <laughs> because it had, it had twice the power. Um, of the Archer and it weighed like just under one and a half times as much so the power to weight ratio was insane and um, the way that the FAA teach it believe it or not CAA don't uh, the, uh, the UK CAA I don't believe they actually teach uh, short field takeoffs but the FAA do uh, and that's the syllabus I was uh, doing and oh, it's so fun we, we're like clear for takeoff we have to request a short delay um, so the controllers are aware that we're gonna stop on the runway after they've cleared us to take yep. off uh, then we literally hold on the brakes Full power, um, because I was a because I'm a little bit weird. I like to stabilise them at about halfway because it just feels like an airliner yeah, that no, way, no, doesn't no. it? <laughs> and then uh, go full power, check all the like RPMs and uh, fuel flows, all temperatures, pressures are all good, 
and then because I quite like the drama, I'd do a little countdown. So I'd go three, <laughs> three two, two, one, one and then go. go, release the brakes, and then <laughs> bang, you're off. And Tiny Sam, do the aircraft use 100% throttle on takeoff at LCY? They yes. do. Yes, yes, yes. 100% of the throttle. Yeah. So they get their, uh, they get their excitement out of it, put it that way. Yeah. Jamie Campbell, Matt and Chris, thank you for a brave and a call for us uh, bringing this strange today. Not a problem, Jamie, you know what we're like. We're here, thank mate, you. every single week, regardless, without foul. So we're all good. Uh, Joe Martin, Adrian Molson, Marcus G, Sam, welcome back, Matt. All good. Thank you. Yeah, Michelle, looks like there's a lot of, uh, there's a few delays here, so it might be very quiet for the uh, for the afternoon, guys. You're just going to have to sort of uh, bear with it. <laughs> They've come into 3, 2, 1, activate, yeah, or toga, that was the classic. Uh... We actually had a toga button uh, on the uh, on the on uh, the archers and the Seminoles, <laughs> uh, which was quite good fun. So um, they didn't have auto throttle. They had a fully fledged autopilot system, but that's a whole other story. It's amazing. Uh, but uh, the actual toga button, um, if you pressed it, it would arm the flight director. So then when you rotate, yeah. the flight director just, would... just takes over. Uh, well, it, it would it would direct you for wings level for a straight out climb out and um, a pitch for VY. Wow. Uh, so VY uh, is the best it bas uh, the speed for the best rate of climb, uh, which was uh, 88 knots in the Seminole and 76 knots in the Archer. So if you followed the flight director, you'd fly straight out on a runway heading at that uh, given speed, and that was if you pressed the toga button. Wow. And then if you did it on a uh, go around, mm -hmm. uh, so if if you were coming in uh, on approach and you wanted to go around for whatever reason, uh, you would press the toga button and then it would um, do the same thing. It would pitch the flight directors up uh, to that uh, climb out speed uh, with your wings level. And if you wow. had the autopilot engaged, doing that second like ILS or an INAV approach, it would actually disengage the autopilots. Then you can take over pretty promptly. Wow. So yeah, it's very, very clever system. Good stuff. That. And Ian, Meadow, uh, Ian Meadows, no, unfortunately not. It's uh, too small. Richard Ellen, afternoon to you, Chris and Matt. How are you doing? Michael Singh, yes, very happy that Etihad are now bringing back the, uh, the A380s yes. into service. Yes, I so saw that. So that's going to be nice. It's going to be a good thing there. Joe Martin yeah. saying I was uh, FAA for over 27 years, now teaching ATC at the FAA Academy. Oh, Brilliant awesome. stuff, Joe. Oh, great. Checking aviation, afternoon to you. Afternoon, Alan, how are you doing? Richard Ellen, Fiji Verdi, saying good afternoon. Met Office put out a uh, yellow warning for snow and ice, which affects London from Sunday evening, typical. Nice. Uh, uh, oh, it's Carl Sutherland, Captain Sutherland. How's it going? Nice to see you. Hope, you, <laughs> hope you're doing well. Uh, Scott B saying a bit nippy in old London town by the looks of things. About three degrees here, so uh, yeah, just a little yeah. bit quiet, shall we say. Yeah, so I've seen a few things here, so uh, Ian Meadows asks, uh, is the runway long enough for a 767? Chris said no, no. Um, the, uh, the largest aircraft is, I think it's the A220, A220. isn't it? But they did have a C-130 that turned up here. Nice. So it's... And th there are actually quite a lot of um, restrictions uh, for aircraft as well. So I actually, I actually noise found, abatement. Well, uh, not even that, you're not allowed to fly single-engined aircraft into London, into London City. Um, because if you were to, God forbid, have, a, have an engine failure on climb out, uh, you've got Canary Wharf in front of you, which is not what you want. Um, you are not allowed single pilot aircraft uh, in. And I think there's a, there's a weight limit. Uh, it's like uh, if, if you're under a certain weight, certain you're, not to, weight. Uh, uh, you're not allowed to come in. Uh, and CBL27 asks, uh, what angle are they climbing out of uh, London City? Uh, I believe it's 25 degrees. Uh, but one of the pilots uh, was saying last spring, that apparently just the way the Embraer works, there's a bit of lag on the flight director, so they initially pitch up to 18 degrees, yep. and then when the flight director catches up, they then increase that pitch to 25, and it's at that point they announce positive rate, gear up, and climb away. Brilliant stuff. Hugo Dakara, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. So welcome along everyone just joining us guys. Very early here in the afternoon on a Friday, especially here uh, for all of our UK viewers. But. Uh, we're all good guys, as soon as the summer comes back around we'll be back to our uh, evening extravaganza. Joe Martin, thank you so much, honestly really appreciate that. And Scott B saying, uh, I hate to stir the pot mate, PP is currently a balmy 35 degrees C, thanks for that mate. <laughs> Tiny says, love the knowledge Matt brings to the channel, amazing. And there'll be plenty more of that guys, so uh, yes, thank you for all being so patient, shall we say. And Lee, apparently someone did mention uh, snow but I don't know where yeah, so if we, anyone is going out and driving around just, just be careful. careful so inbound with another BA city flyer in Brea I have no idea now where the uh, 
where the Helvetic is. Is this a B8? No, this German is Airways this is the moment. German Airways. Uh, Ian Meadows, what's the tallest landmark flying into London? Is it the Shard? Yes, yes it would be the Shard. Uh, I believe they didn't make the Shard any taller, partly because of London City Airport. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when you're when you're flying into City, at least as a pilot, uh, you'd be... In fact, that, that was another, uh, I think, restriction into City. I don't think they're allowed VFR. No. Um, only uh, IFR flights with like a file flight plan and everything. So when you are actually flying in, uh, you're not using any landmarks uh, to come in. You're, you're purely using uh, your instruments and all the navigational aids in the air and on the ground. Right, let me tune this back down to the... Uh, you're going to hear a few beeps for a second, guys. Just while I'm tuning back, give me a second. Morse code going on. <laughs> Hopefully we've... Uh, there we go. Oh. Completely eye off the ball. The German Airways, CBM not a problem. Cosmos Logic, honestly, I really appreciate that. Thank you. This is what we was uh, we was trying to do with SDTV. We was trying to make a uh, trying to make it just a little bit different to all other aviation shows out there. And I think we're doing a, a good job. Christopher Randall, thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. And Scott B has asked a technical question there, mate. Uh, what engine supplier is used on the Embraer of the BA? So uh, you got General Electric, wasn't yes, it? Yes. Yeah. General Electric CF34. Chris Rico, hi from Austria. How are you doing, my friend? No, Sushi, I believe that these German Airways aircraft are you uh, flown for ETA, I believe. Oh, they fly for ETA. They have been flying oh, for ETA. Nice. Cool. Uh, Wayne Hartshorn, these London City? No, no, no. Um, whilst, whilst we were out there, it was pretty much all about the local airports nearby. Uh, we did do a few steep approaches. We did a forward slip, which Ooh. was really, really good fun. I don't, have, have, have you ever, did you ever do one when you were flying, Chris? Never. So basically, um, the, uh, the UK syllabus doesn't actually teach it um, because they supposedly teach you that you shouldn't need it in the first place. But, uh, uh, but the FAA teach you a forward slip, which is basically a way that if you find yourself way too high, it's just a brilliant way to dump a load of energy really quickly. Yep. So um, you see which way the wind is coming from. So let's say, for instance, uh, if the wind is coming from the left, uh, you will go um, full left rudder full left and right full right aileron Ooh, right, <laughs> and okay. you're basically like coming in you're almost inducing a kind of crosswind style approach like a crab <laughs> and the descent rates you would get was insane um in the seminar it was even better because we could like um put the uh, propellers to fall forward to make them because it was a variable pitch propeller yep um so we could make the propellers be as drag as possible and we were getting about three and a half thousand feet per minute descent wow <laughs> yeah, incredible it was so, so good and scott b not a problem at all my friend any uh as we say guys, if you do have any technical, while, uh, while Matt is back on the stream, if you do have any technical uh, questions that you want answered, please do put them in and uh, we'll try our very, very best to answer them all. You know what we're like. Pona Alex, thank you so much for that. Joseph Elder saying hello from uh, Evansville, Indiana. How are you doing, Joseph? And William Simpson has asked, Matt, at what temperature did the aircraft at London City get de-iced? Uh, I suppose it would be a, just a general, wouldn't it, in, in all fairness? for. I don't know. No, I don't know that, unfortunately, either. So we'll have to get back to you on that one. Uh, Ian Meadows, how often do we do emergency landings in the simulator? Uh, we didn't actually do anything in the sim. It was all in real life. So um, uh, in the uh, in the Piper Archer, um, just when I almost wasn't expecting it, um, my instructor would just uh, go to throttle idle, to, uh, uh, idle throttle to simulate simulator engine failure. Um, we had a checklist that we had to run through pretty much by memory um, because you don't have very much time. No. Uh, so the first, it's called the ABCD checklist. So A is for airspeed. You want to pitch for uh, 76 knots as that will give you the best glide range. Yes. Uh, then B is best place to land. So find a field, basically. <laughs> um, or a motorway, yeah. Yeah, they actually encouraged highways a lot in the States, but <coughs> in the UK, they don't really- They don't want you on the motorway. I yeah. think it's probably because our motorways are congested, lampposts, lamp co congestion. Yeah, and then uh, C is checklist. You'd get out your yellow emergency checklist and go through uh, the engine failure checklist, which involves uh, trying to restart the engine firstly. Yep. Uh, so making sure that the mixture is full forward, all the fuel pumps are on, everything, uh, and then trying to uh, re uh, reignite. If you can't do that, you then uh, conduct the power off landing checklist, which is basically shut the aircraft down in flight in completely, flight. including turning the batteries off, turn everything off, and then land. Brilliant <laughs> stuff. Mario Politi as well. Hello to you. Hope you're, uh, or Polito, sorry, should I say? Absolute uh, 
pleasure to have you on board. Hope you're doing very, very well. Yeah. Uh, Tiny Todd says, saw a slicer being applied on an episode of the aircraft investigation. Ah, yes, that was the uh, the Gimli glider, probably. Yeah. Uh, the Air Canada 767. Yeah, they actually got that wrong. Uh, a, 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 a side slip is when you basically do that manoeuvre whilst keeping straight and level flight. Um, and that would typically be used if you wanted to put out an engine fire. Ah. Um, so if you had a fire on the left engine, you'd use left rudder to basically direct the wind to that engine to try and extinguish it. Brilliant. Um, but when you're actually going forward and you're trying to descend, that's that's called a forward slip. But they used side slip in the um, in the uh, in that particular documentary. Brilliant stuff. Um, but yeah, engine failures in the seminar were good fun because you had two engines as opposed to one. They actually shut one down. Yep. And uh, then you'd feather the propeller, and then you'd have to basically learn how to use all your rudder trim and how to. They called it a uh, dead leg, dead engine. So if you uh, lose, well, if you lost your left engine, um, you would have to um, apply full right rudder uh, to counteract that. So if your left leg was not doing anything, i.e., dead, that was the that was the dead engine. <laughs> Right, so on there, uh, right, they got saying the US highways are part of uh, Eisenhower's system that made sure that that was a straight. Ah, right, okay, that would make sense. Um, right, they got saying the US highways are part of Eisenhower's system that made sure there was a straight away uh, every so many miles so highways could be used as runways in the war. Oh, very good, thank you very much for that. Love that. Ian Clarkson saying, uh, just. Yeah, Ian, I, it was showing live at one point. It was showing live, and then uh, it sort of seemed all messed up, but it was supposed to be here. So I don't know. We've just seen that. Dave commentator saying the Cessna arriving from uh, Paris Le Bourget. Brilliant stuff. Nice. Uh, Little Emma has asked, Matt, do you have to be a uh, specialised pilot to land at City Airport? You have to go for extra yes. training. Yes, yes, yes. It's, uh, a, it's a captain only. Captain program. only. Uh, Stephen O was saying we have got a Luxair Dash 8 as well, which I believe I can see over to my left hand yep, side. Got it, got it. Farang Travels, hello to you, hope you're doing very well. Ken Watt, uh, how are your feet today, Chris? Warm or cold? <laughs> doing very nice today, and to be honest with you, this little uh, dockside sort of platform that we stand on here is made out of, I would say, what, plastic or something along them lines, so uh, I don't feel the cold as much as I did in a, uh, in a field at Gatwick, shall we say and a little bit there so we've got the luxair dash eight brilliant stuff Stephen, i was saying we've got a qatar triple seven uh overhead somewhere i can't see that oh no, yeah michelle would be uh you wouldn't be able to use the m25 put it that way as a uh, a thing there and heading out to edinburgh that aircraft that was just on screen farang saying cold today it is but it's uh, not as cold as what yesterday was put it that way i am going to put my gloves on though in a second and there we had one from wayne as well so it'd be interesting which way diego with fleet renewal for the 90s get more or use the 220s <sighs> to, i don't know i think it'd be nice to see the yeah it would i think an a220 in ba city flyer colors would be amazing yeah and, uh, uh, Joel Conn says, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right, John. Uh, sorry, Joel, uh, the Seminole engine's both been in the same direction. I mean, there's neat, there's not a critical engine. Uh, yeah, after this Embraer's that, I can talk about critical engine. Luxair, we've got the Dash 8, mate. What did I say, sorry? Embraer. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. You got that down nice. I love the delay in the spoiler deployment on the Dash It's nice, isn't it? You can really appreciate the downforce yeah. that they create. I do, I'm growing ever more uh, loving of the Dash 8, to be honest with you, as days go by. Yeah, I'd love to fly on one. Ian Meadows, he's going to be at uh, as many as he can physically uh, make, obviously, uh, with uh, with what he can do, with obviously around his, uh, his pilot training, my friend, I'm sure you can understand. Yeah, so I'll definitely be at Heathrow tomorrow, um, so I'll, I've got a month off, uh, basically, so uh, between uh, now and the next month or so, I will be as at many shows as I possibly can. Uh, some of the midweek shows may be a little bit difficult for me to get to, but uh, I will be doing my best to come to as much as I possibly can. Brilliant stuff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Heathrow tomorrow. Nah. I'm pulling an all day. Yeah, pulling out all day. <laughs> And Joel, no, I didn't. I forgot to. Uh, I forgot to look at that once again. I will look at them electric jackets. I promise you. Electric jackets. There's an electric yeah to warm you up. I could probably p uh, put it into my battery pack. In all fairness, plug it into the battery pack and walk around all day with it. 
and who's that they just asked about uh, German Airways I don't believe it's part of Lufthansa I don't believe but I might be wrong I thought it was a, a wholly separate and private company that was my understanding but I might have been very wrong right so um, I've got here uh, this is uh, the source of this information is a uh, Wikipedia and it says uh, German Airways Flugelschaft are now operating as German Airways and formerly called something in German I'm not going to try and pronounce um, was uh, is a German regional airline headquartered in Dusseldorf nice um, apparently uh, it became a subsidiary corporation of Air Berlin in 2017 ah. and then after the collapse of Air Berlin it was uh, purchased by Lufthansa oh so it is part of Lufthansa yeah. and right it's apparently, okay. it's apparently a part of Eurowings ah that would make sense Oh wait, hang on a sec. The contract with Eurowings was terminated in April 2020 and filed for insolvency. <laughs> See, I don't really know what they're doing now. Uh, me, myself, mate, is back. Yes, he's standing right next to me, my friend. Hello. And Joel Cohn, yes you do. I believe that, isn't it cabin crew or any flight crew, they only get start getting paid when it's... Doors shut. Doors shut, I yep. thought it was. Yes. L&W, how are you doing? Okay. And yes. We will have to potentially apologise, guys, if you do hear any uh, heavy machinery in the background. Obviously, they're doing works over here, so it might only be from uh, from time to time. Right, Matt, I've got to get my... Uh, That's all right. Yeah. Debbie13 says, uh, America is there for training... Uh, yeah, uh, training in the, in the States is actually very, very beneficial. First of all, uh, gas, like fuel and whatnot that's all cheap um, very cheap oh yeah it was about 80 80, <coughs> 80 p a litre where i was or like three dollars sixty a gallon um yeah it's great um uh, the weather's great we had a few days where it wasn't so great so hurricanes during, yeah, yeah you had a few you yeah, in the midst of a, a few hurricanes out yeah, there wasn't we, you yeah we got we got quite lucky with ian <coughs> like it went the track went directly over where we were but luckily we didn't really have any damage um and then storm the coal <laughs> but yeah, other, uh, other than that, um, the actual weather's like really, really good to fly in. Yeah. Uh, airspace, you're so free to go wherever you want. Whereas here in the UK, I haven't really studied the airspace just yet, but it sounds like it's all kind of made around the big international airports and general aviation has to almost go work, around work it. Yeah. Around work it. Away around it. Whereas with me, I was in, so they're kind of big daddy airspace. It's class Bravo. Class uh, Bravo, in, yes. Um, class uh, Bravo. Uh, in, uh, uh, in the US and uh, we had uh, the MCO so Orlando International's class Bravo pretty much sitting on top of us um, so there'd be some days where we'd be cleared into this Bravo and we'd be literally flying um, it was 124 decimal 8 and that was the kind of in, uh, the immediate departure frequency for MCO so I was there flying along in my little archer on my own as well and through the radio I hear American Delta Spirit Frontier you just <laughs> it, had the, literally great. the best of uh, the yeah. best of everything oh, it's brilliant so we've got another uh, Embraer company heading out. Thank you, Karen. Karen, hope you're doing very, very well. Ooh. Where was it? There we go. Uh, change this word. Suck it this morning. I thought it snowed. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it was uh, it was cold. I remember what woke up this morning. I was absolutely shivering. But it's all good. You got a car? Uh, We got another one and about leaving right now. Uh, Ian, no, 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 no. We kept it professional environment. I guess the only thing I could say is when uh, I guess when they fail an engine on you without you expecting it, that's the only thing they do. But that's part of the training. Yeah. So Cohen's saying that in B class. Uh, you need clearance to go in. Delta is self-announced yep. clearance. Yeah, wow. that's true, Joel. Uh, our home airport uh, was class Charlie, uh, so I believe it's self-announced. Yeah, yeah, no, you don't need a clearance to go in, but you have an approach frequency of an hour, and Delta is just just an hour. Yeah. I still don't understand how uncontrolled airports are allowed to do them. Well, <laughs> it was quite. I, I, I must say, I was quite scared going into quite a few of them. I can imagine. It's just like, hi, I'm here, I'm coming into land. But uh, no, we're using this runway, by the way. Oh, really?
obviously a lot different in the United States, guys, than what it is uh, here over in the UK. But it's so nice here in the uh, here in the stories in the towers. I love it. Right, so it looks like some of the cloud has now sort of uh, departed over there. So we might get a nice right bank as well of the Embraer. Sounds like a boot sale going on, Matt, with that thing in the background. It's like <laughs> little generators going on over there. All right, so the nice right turn. Beautiful. Sweet. Happy days. No. Susie Q, how are you doing? Right, where was they? What was they doing? They was the ball in the Lux here. No Michelle Johnson saying lovely takeoff on there. Jeanette, thank you so much. Lovely shot. Katie LD84. Hi Chris. Soak you first. Got some warm footwear today. I won't mention the Uggs again. <laughs> We're all good today, and it's all right. As I say, I'm standing on a uh, a bit of a different, a bit of a different ground sort of setting here this afternoon than it was uh, in a freezing cold field. <laughs> Adrian Cox, brilliant stuff. How are you doing, Aaron Ching? Every day there was a daily bump between Singapore and Frankfurt on the uh, Lufthansa 747-A. Brilliant stuff. Magruder One, how are you doing? Oh, we tried to uh, catch the down at Atlanta Korean Air flight from Seoul Incheon to Atlanta with the 74. Really? And we tried to go to stand to watch it leave, but um, we got in a little bit late. A little so bit we, late. Yeah, we missed it. <laughs> Michelle Johnson, they're probably digging to go to uh, Australia. Actually, they're uh, they're just flattening the uh, they're just flattening down some of the stuff. It looks like they've got a bit of block paving going on. So there's a shed or well, not a shed but like a, a building that's being built behind us James McKnight how are you doing hope you're doing well uh, Cheryl Colson don't the uh, dash 8 have snow but snow but let's get rid of ice on the front wing just sort of anti-ice or de-ice Kevin Carter how are you doing hope you're doing very very well everyone joining us nice and early now Joel Sam, flight following is only available when ATC is an only uh, overwhelm, which is all the time. Yeah, so we talk about flight following. So that's uh, if you're flying VFR to some way, you can request flight following, and that's basically a service where you stay on the approach or departure frequency, yep. and they keep an eye on you, and they'll let you know if there's traffic nearby or like yeah. nearby weather or something. Um, but yeah, we got we got quite lucky with uh, flight following. I was only denied it about once or twice um, because it's a I, lot I, out of the hours. That you've done. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd just whack on the end of my call sign, student solo. Right. Okay. And then they would they would generally uh, attend to me. Barry Price, how you doing? Hope you're doing very well. Afternoon to you. Very good afternoon to everyone, guys. And Tiny, you might want to answer that one there, Matt. Did you see any rocket launches yes, while you were in Florida? I did, some of which from the air whilst flying. <laughs> Very nice. I remember you sending um, the photos. But uh, the best one for sure was uh, Artemis. Uh, we managed to get out for uh, Artemis 1. Uh, th third time lucky, thankfully. Three times we had to head down to Space Coast. Yeah, that was that was insane. <coughs> it, 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 was, it was a 1 a.m. launch. So it was pitch black outside, but it, the way it lit up the sky, yeah, I can it imagine. Was, it, 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 it made it look like a sunrise. In fact, in fact, from our flat, which was 30 miles away, if we ever watched a lot of the, uh, we, we watched all the space launches. Yep. Um, from our car park um, by our flat, about 30, 40 miles away from the launch pad, and you could see the orange glow in the distance wow. where, the, where, where, the, where the rocket was launching. That's incredible. And then, and then it's just like a tiny little thing after that. But it's like, <laughs> like, like, like that initial explosion on the ground yeah. where it reflects off all the water and just lights up the sky. It's amazing. That's great. And Katie Price says, I feel like I'm in school after like, learning so much. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I missed him. Barry Price, not a problem at all. And uh, Joel Drew. Cohen asks, where did you train in the States, Matt? Uh, in the Orlando area. So there you go. Dash 8 has just been deboarded. 
currently got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine aircraft currently on the ground here at LCY, guys. But as I said, a little bit more quiet today. Looks like there's a few delays for reasons uh, sort of unknown here. So that's going to be a bit more of a chilled out one yeah. this afternoon. But that's not a problem at all. Uh, Jeanette McKenzie for the £10 donation. Thank you so, so, so much. Honestly, Jeanette, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Much love to you. Hope you're keeping safe. Oh. <laughs> uh, Joel Cohn was flight safety for a while. Brilliant stuff, my friend. So, a few bits of ground ops going on at the second. They have completely deboarded the, uh, the German Airways aircraft normally that is on a very very quick turnaround so when you were at city was it, was it that tower up there you were? yeah you see that look that yeah, one yeah, yeah. yeah oh wow basically there so in the That's middle so, of uh, so cool. in the middle of everything i was i was watching that live <coughs> that was great it was a great, great experience great 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 experience that's nah, brilliant absolutely brilliant yeah uh cosmologic yeah yeah the sea was lovely so it was great we flew down to um Kind of Vero Beach, Fort Pierce Way. Just we uh, uh, we just uh, fly along the coast. Yeah. And, and, and it's like the Atlantic to our left and Florida to our right. The furthest I went was Sarasota. Really? Oh, that was pretty fun. Wow. It only took about an hour. Incredible stuff. And uh, we've got Susan Rawlinson saying several flights were diverted this morning due to the fog. That's ah, that's that'll that probably makes make sense. yeah. Uh, KTLD84, yes, I'm a student at the moment. Ah, we've got me and myself, A380, overhead in four. It's very clear out here. We're going to see if we can try and catch some of the uh, afternoon arrivals going in to London Heathrow. Arthur Benny saying greetings from a very sunny afternoon in Northumberland. How are you doing, Arthur? I hope you're doing very, very well, my friend. Terry. Uh, Wayne has asked, can you start applying for jobs yet, Matt? No, you're a bit too... No, airlines can approach me, though. Oh, they can? Yeah, so I think I think they can They can go to my school <coughs> and, and ask. the school can select people for them and then you get, like, tagged, if you like. So basically, them. like, headhunting. Pr pretty much, yeah, 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 pretty much like that. A, yeah. a simpler version. Yeah, so like an airline will go up to school and say, right, we need ten pilots and schools. All right, yeah, sure, have him, have him, have him, have him. Keeping an eye out for that 380. So it was at four minutes. Might potentially. Just trying to think. Some yeah. of them have either been coming from around this way, or some of them have been coming from there. But there's nothing above us at the second. Yeah. Leslie, how are you doing? Susan Rawlinson. Is that correct that that German Airways came from Gatwick? Because there was people on that. Yeah, there's the 380. Oh, it's the. Um... The special livery. Yeah, it's the um, future. Oh, there it is. Right, so I'm going to see, guys, if we can. We've got the 380. We might have a beautiful shot, hopefully, of the 380 it's heading the above journey, us. Journey, journey to the future. That's so the aircraft that we caught yesterday at Gatwick, guys, it is oh, now yeah. running overhead. Uh, right, it's just there behind the trees, coming in the second. Yeah, let's see if it was the, the exact one, because they have a couple... I think this is a different a different frame to the one at Gatwick, but it's uh, yeah same livery. Beautiful clear skies today. Yeah, no way 380s anywhere in uh, near Orlando. The only one you get is the BA one into Miami. So it was nice to nice to bump into a few of those when I landed back. I must say. LA there were a few. I saw an Asiana one as well, which very nice. Very excited about. I was like squealing in my seat. I can imagine, mate. <laughs> uh, Richard Batman, good afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah, afternoon. Yep. Uh, Joanne Mason, today's great debate. Do I go and make another cup of tea? That shouldn't be a debate. The answer is yes. Yes. <laughs> Especially in this weather. Uh, John Driscoll asking you, Chris, how are you, uh, how are you today? I'm very, very good, John. Absolutely amazing, like normal. And uh, Dave Commenter says that's an EK2929 from Dubai. 
So it looks like that's turning right, Matt. So it's going 2-7 right at the second, it looks like. Yes, Not 2-7 two, two, left. They yeah. are on 2-7 right uh, this week in the morning. Yep. So, so everyone, set your alarms for tomorrow morning. We'll be live at London Heathrow from the Hyatt rooftop uh, overlooking, um, well, Terminal 5, a little bit of Terminal 3, and we'll have the whole of 2, 7, right, 9 left in front of us. Beautiful. Right. Uh, which one was that? What? All right, to try and film this one. Yeah. Leave when it when it's on its way. Yes, mate. I'm just trying to. Thanks. What stand was he? Was he that one? Uh, it's, it's the. It's yeah. The I thought, oh, right, that one down there. Yeah. The Got it's it. The second one from the shed. Happy days. They were boarding earlier. Uh, <coughs> Dave yes, commentator. Yes, we did we were a part one four one? So yeah. Here got the car. I mean myself, not a problem at all. John Driscoll. Yes, very good. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, Alice and I, the penguin eye, the penguin eye, literally. Oh wow! I told you that the. Uh, I did say, guys, that German Airways is. Uh, well, we're getting ready to go, so that was very. Uh, on there, Alexa 24. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, enjoy. Uh, Sanjeev was saying a uh, bit cold, but the love hearts. How are you doing, Bay Capital Jam? Afternoon to you, my friend. Uh, Barry, no, we can't. It's not open to the. Uh, it's not open to the public yet. Uh, again, we're waiting until after Christmas, so it'll probably be January time that we uh, we open up the Hyatt to obviously uh, things there. You know, have another meet thing. Yeah, no, another meet. I missed that. We need to have another one. Yeah, there will be. Well, the thing is, I've waited until. Um, Christmas is out of the way because obviously it's a very expensive month for a lot, a lot of people, yeah. and uh, something extra. I think January would probably be the uh, the best vibe. Yeah, it'd be nice to kick off the new year as well. Yeah. So. Why is that not allowing me to do? It's just turning around. Oh no, no, it's all good. You got it. Uh, Ponds, gardens and flying things. Afternoon to you, Patrick Malone. Afternoon. How are you doing? Uh, little Emma, Joe Martin, keep up the fantastic work, guys. Happy Friday. Thank you so much, Joe. Honestly, really Thank appreciate you. that. Thank you, my friend. Steve Ford, afternoon to you. Me, myself, brilliant stuff. See what's a be it's nice having a beautiful sky up above us. Uh, Lynn. Lynn, hello. <laughs> And Arthur Benny saying there's been a lot of military action over Northumberland this uh, week. Some really interesting stuff going on. Brilliant stuff. All right, so we're heading outbound now with the German Airways. Joe Martin, brilliant. Oh, well, you had to go, but you went out and then went back in, yeah. Oh, there we are, we're back, we're back. We're back. Happy days. All right, so they're actually just waiting on that. Uh, anyways, Dark Side Bob, afternoon to you. Lovely day for a bit of a, uh, for a spot of spotting. Very chilled out afternoon here, shall we say, at LCY. Uh, uh, Three twenty one. Actually, uh, speaking of a similar sort of aircraft, uh, big news out in China, uh, the C919 yes. uh, has been delivered to China Eastern and is going to be entering commercial service in spring 2023. Wow. So there's, uh, I've got a feeling guys, 2023 is going to be a fantastic year for aviation. I've got a real good feeling. Yeah. Patrick I think Malone. Too has been as well in the grand scheme of things. It's had its challenges, of course. Of course, it did get there. Uh, Steve Full saying that guy, uh, the ground staff has shorts on. A lot of people do still wear shorts at this time of uh, year, my friend. But uh, yeah, we've got legs of leather. <laughs> <laughs> Farid Abed saying hello, friends. How are you doing, Farid? Hope you're doing very well. Uh, 300 likes already, nearly, guys. You lot are incredible. Thank you so so much. Beautiful, right? So the German Airways. All right, to have a go. On yeah, the, go for it, mate. On the on the camera. I can have a cigarette and some. Uh, yeah, take a break, Chris. Coffee. Yeah, like the car. All right, like this is my first car. time filming. Right, so uh, I'm gonna let Matt get on the uh, on the filming, guys. I've so, had uh, one practice run, so uh, do bear with me if it's uh, not up to. 
Chris's standards. Practice makes perfect, man. Yeah. Just Sean saying afternoon, Chris and everyone. How are you doing, Sean? Hope you're doing very, very well. Welcome along to Friday. Beautiful afternoon here in East of London. That's how you know it's Friday when we're live from London City. Bring myself saying a Lufthansa retro livery crossing west to east. Yeah, that is, what uh, retro like 748 yeah, retro it's or it's, we're never going to get that there's a lot of aircraft coming yeah. up in the sky but they are too far <laughs> Bruce yeah to see if he's got Uggs on <laughs> Mark Hustle afternoon Chris what a lovely afternoon by the river couldn't agree with you more Mark hope you're doing very very well I think we're going to have that BA following behind I reckon yes uh, so Dave is... commentator saying this aircraft outbound to Milan uh, Linate Airport, brilliant stuff. So it was on, uh, it was on Eater, or was backing with Eater, I thought it was. And uh, of course, uh, Eater being the, the new yeah. Alitalia. And they are still using Alitalia aircraft in and out of. Uh, in and out of Heathrow, which is a very nice, very nice thing. Yeah, I'm gonna John miss Driscoll, them. Though. You're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much for that. Honestly, that's that helps. Thank you so much. Uh, Magman20 saying you can go wrong with a camera because uh, become used to live streams that could make you dizzy. Not that loud. <laughs> well, we try. We try to sort of pan round and and be as gentle as we can be. Put it that way. We try. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Matt's first go on the camera since, uh, what was that, seven months ago? Six months ago? Six and a half, yeah, nearly seven. So you currently got a BA Embraer, Matt, so you're going to have the Embraer out nice. first, which is very nice. Ah, oh, there's an Embraer first. Yes, yeah, so we've got ah. a City Fire Embraer going to be heading out first and then the German Airways. And they're uh, currently, looks like they're boarding or reboarding that Luxair, unless yeah. my eyes are playing up on me. But what was good fun? Uh, did anyone manage to? Uh, sadly, I couldn't do it on YouTube. I could only do it on Facebook. But I did a like a two-hour kind of phone handheld stream from uh, Orlando. That was brilliant. MCO. I don't know if anyone managed to tune into that because I'd time my life filming that. Absolutely great. Right. Do you know what that was? Seeing the spirit, oh, it, was, it was incredible. Yeah. Bonzo, afternoon to you both. Love the stream today. Not a problem, Bonzo. Hope you're doing very, very well. Jeanette, absolutely fantastic. Hit the likes, uh, guys. Show the love. Thank you, Jeanette. Love being here on a, a Friday afternoon. Yeah, you know what, Chris? You are right. The the kind of shakes they are from the ground. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, 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 you're absolutely right. Right, I'm just going to swing around. Yeah, go for it, sorry, mate. Just because I'm going to have to kind of go all the way around, so. Paul Sunter, afternoon to you. Hello, my friend. <laughs> Dave Comatay, he's like a Peugeot. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. And Simon Brackett saying, don't break the camera. I, I... Yes, we've already had two broken yeah, cameras yeah. this year and about seven or eight cables broke, so let's try and be, <laughs> uh, let's try and be light with it. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah, Fareed, 100% I agree with you. As I, I was saying that yesterday, being a courier or an ex-courier, always used to wear them in December. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. You just keep warm and you forget about it, I suppose. <laughs> when you're busy. Yeah. Suppose... Keeps you awake, put it that way. It's like, oh, cold, yeah. it's like that cold shower therapy sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bake apple jam, brilliant stuff. And he's on his way, Matt. He's shifting. Very much shifting. And at some point, there we are, Rotate. Yeah, I could. And then the pan back in. Yeah, sorry, that was a. Uh, Don't worry, listen, trust me. Bit of a shocker. <laughs> it 
keeps you uh, keeps you on your toes, put it that way. There we are, and then there's that slight pitch down and pretty reduced to climb thrust at that point and start accelerating and cleaning up the aircraft before he starts his first turn. I'm going to guess maybe to the right. He throw director. Yeah. Matt, you've got the German Airways as well now on the uh, on the runway. Uh, Stephen Carter Hicks saying good morning all from a beautiful and sunny day in Washington DC. Just found you all recently, loving this. Well, a pleasure to have you on board, Stephen. Thank you so so much. Absolutely brilliant. Hope you have a cracking day. Dave commentator saying that was, I believe that was BA8493 to Berlin. Nice. Very, very nice. Um, so, yeah, it's all, it's all uh, Brandenburg now, isn't it? No, no more Teagle. Teagle no, that's it. And I just Sean that. saying, Chris, I think a cold shower would be warmer. Thanks. All good, mate. Sorry, we're, we're all busy, like it's a one. I might line up for my and we are ready for the Aaron Ching. Ah. That's cool with the other beer one at the back. He's off his work, accelerating. Toga. And outbound with the German Airways. Oh, shallow rotation there. Look at that. That's very nice. Right. Right. I'll make this the last one, then I hand it back to the. It, mate, oh, then no, I hand, I hand it, I hand it back to the pro. <laughs> and right. So this looks like Dave commentator is BA eight four five three heading out to Amsterdam. Right. What I'm actually going to do? I'm going to try and make it like a makeshift. Uh, yeah, go for it, mate. Try, like a sun visor. <laughs> yeah, literally a visor. <laughs> make a, a visor in my hood. There we are, departure number three. I'll get back to all the comments as well after the Chris is uh, feel free to come further forward. Yeah, no, I, I don't know how sensitive the microphone is. Uh, Debbie 13 saying Chris and Matt, these really are the best stream. See you both soon. Not a problem, Debbie. Be safe and take care. Yeah, have a good one. Have a lovely weekend. <laughs> Wayne, well, I will do. <laughs> there we are, clear take off. <coughs> Beautiful. And holding on the brakes, toga. I think the togas have a better effect when they're on mines. <laughs> yeah, they do. From here, it's beautiful. Yeah. Right, he's on the uh, on the go. Let's do this thing. So at this point, pilot fly will be uh, ditching the nose wheel steering on the tiller using the rudder to maintain centre line. With the pilot monitoring, making sure all the engines are okay, announcing all those vital V speeds. And up he goes, 25 degrees. Have a look. Nah, he's going to be too far away. <laughs> Joel Cohn, we'll try our best, mate. Yeah, where is the other aircraft? So you should get the right bank any time. Yeah, I've lost the other aircraft. Have you lost the other one? Yeah, we'll just... <laughs> there we are, turning right. Oh, brilliant, the Lux here as well got his uh, start up clearance. Cracking job on that, mate. Well done. Thanks. <laughs> That's really good. I love that. And behind the building. Oh, no, maybe not. I think we're going to keep him. Oh, hang on, look at that shot, Matt, that you might get. You've got an aircraft Oops, turning sorry. and another... Oh, that's a beautiful shot, if you can get that. See? Wow. Nah, too far away. They're just like two yeah. black specks in there. And we lost him. There we go. Right, 
Right, right so Chris, back to the I'll hand there. it. No, it's all good. Thank you. Not a problem. Great work, Matt. Lovely camera. Yeah, it's not too bad, is it? It's uh, right. So the Lux there, the next one out. And NJ saying, I really love this channel. Uh, Matt's comment is a real good addition to it. Thank you very much, NJ. All appreciative, guys. Thank <laughs> you, NJ. <coughs> Andrea, take care, and we'll see you again soon. Very, very good. Right, and there's Kuwaiti triples. <laughs> Wayne Hutchinson saying the uh, um, favourite bit was the killer A380 at Gatwick. Yes, I've got oh, that uh, clip saved. Yeah. Literally, it blew us away and it <laughs> completely ruined the stream. Yeah, well, it was just like climbing away. First time we see it, it's coming towards us. You can hear it roaring. We're like, oh my god, oh that was my low. god, oh my god, and then and it comes over, and then just bang, stream's gone. <laughs> We've got. We've managed to get that sorted now, though. So touch wood. We haven't had uh, problems. Yeah, touch wood. Yeah. Uh, Marcus G. I'll. I will try, mate. I'll have a look. What's that? Uh, some more emojis for the. Uh, <laughs> for the stream. We'll have a look. Ah, uh, Dave. That would probably make sense. So the Lux says just had its. Uh, clearance on there. So we're literally just waiting on an engine to start. They've removed the, all of the ground equipment currently over there. And you know what? That, uh, that Helvetic is definitely late because he's normally in here right now. Chewbacca. Yeah, the Chewbacca. Oh, it's brilliant. <laughs> uh, yeah, I loved it, Joel. It was good fun, that. Hard work. But all well worth it, yeah. Special, like, single engine landings was good fun. Yeah, mate. Lynn Keeble, not a problem. We'll see you on the next one, Lynn. Take care. And Simon saying, no yeah. emojis. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wayne, yeah, that, that gentleman was. Ah, oh, do you remember him? Oh, wow. And Button, hi there. How are you doing, Button? What Hope you're doing very was, well. Which gentleman was that? The, the, guy who the came gentleman up. that came up, yeah, he was Arsenal a bit. Binoculars. Yeah, 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 he had, yeah, a, yeah, he had a few yeah. drinks, put it that way. Yeah. Uh, no, good lad. I was laughing so much when you did that. <laughs> The joys of being live. Oh, I love it. No editing allowed. No editing allowed at all. Oh, so still waiting on the Lux here. He's had his clearance for quite a bit of time. I'm just wondering what they're... Uh... Very weird. Jamie Campbell, he's been missed, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Michelle, 100% love the 380, really do. I'd love to try and fly one at, like, at like, some like, point, as, even like, as, uh, as a passenger, because I feel you like... You missed out last year, didn't you, when we went to Madrid on one? Yeah, yeah. I had exams the following day, <laughs> so I couldn't join you couldn't guys. Join and then when I tried to do it myself, it got subbed out for the 320. Oh. So, but... um. Yeah, that I've 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 managed to go on Emirates as an Air France's ones, but it'd be nice to be nice to try B A one at some point. I feel like um, I I took the seven fours way too for granted. I don't want to do the same with the three eighties. No, take as much like if you get the chance, fly it. Just just do it. Just yeah. make sure it happens. That's why I did those seven fives. <coughs> I was in the states. Because you never know what time you never know when potentially they're going to be withdrawn, and time yeah. goes quickly. Especially that they're all like domestic now. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. So, current time check as well, guys. 13:44 here in the, the afternoon. Weather. Should we get the weather? See if we have got some updated weather. So, the source of this weather there's is There's another one of them uh oh, navy yeah, frigates yeah. coming over there. I'll tell you what, there's another one of the uh the navy frigates turning up as well here along the uh, the dockside, guys. So, there's obviously uh, things going on here uh, in the capital. So uh, beautiful the dash 8 I've got Sorry, some updated mate. weather for that's all right. I've got some updated weather for you. Also, as of 13:20 GMT, the weather observation, uh, the winds are the same as they were so, before, in direction wise. So varying between 260 and 330, but they've uh, they're down at four knots now. Wow. So the wind's even calmer. Uh, visibility is more than six uh, statute miles, and the clouds uh, within a five-mile radius of London City, no clouds detected. Very nice. That's, uh, that's lovely. 
Uh, same old temperature, still three degrees. Three degrees. Zero degrees with an altimeter setting uh, of a, or QNH as they call it over here, sorry, of a one zero zero eight hectopascals. Brilliant. And Jamie Campbell saying, yeah, they always seem to. Nothing wrong with that. I can't believe how many of them uh, Navy fit. I wonder why they're stationed here now. I wonder if this is anything to do with uh, that stuff that's going on. Yeah, I have no yeah. idea. Dave commentator saying clear prop. Yeah. And you should get the full sound any moment yeah. now. That was always a fun thing to do. Yeah. Try and make your clear props nice and interesting. That's it. <laughs> if you just shout, if you just shout clear prop, clear it's prop. boring. We'd always do like a clear prop. prop. <laughs> <laughs> And then you see all the other amusing ones online where they're like, stand clear of my propeller for I'm commencing engine start. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do that, but. <laughs> and Alexa24 saying it, uh, it snowed for five minutes earlier today near Gatwick. I'm glad that I uh, oh, wow. wasn't there today, to be honest with you. Gosh. Uh, Wayne, uh, the Virgin A330s. Uh, seats were in great condition. Uh, the IFE, really outdated needs a revamp ASAP. Uh, they're not going to do that because they're gonna be getting rid of them anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, they're pretty much, uh, the, uh, the new 33900s um, the, uh, the Neos, they're basically gonna be a one for one replacement for the for the old 300s with four additional Neos Bring on top of that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, good condition, lovely mood lighting, uh, seats were well kept. A um, little bit hard, and I thought the legroom, especially when the per person in front of me reclined at the moment we got off the ground. Yeah, that's and not good. And stayed that way until landing. Um, and it did get a little bit tight. Um, another thing which I found quite difficult compared to the Max, which I flew, because I actually slept on the Max as well, because I was a little bit... Um, tired. Well, it wasn't even that tired. <laughs> I, was, I was so tired, I was getting ill from it. Um, and uh, because the curvature on the Airbus cabin, it's... it's but there's a lot more kind of inward curve on the cabin walls, yep. so it's hard to lean your head against it. Yeah, I whereas, can understand. Whereas in the uh, in the Max, it was a lot flatter, uh, so you had a bit more kind of space um, by the cabin wall, so you very could sleep nice. Much nicer. And just Sean, I uh, I missed this uh, as you end your streams earlier, Chris, which I don't, which I understand. I don't get to see the live streams until I can get home until seven. I know, Sean. Uh, as I say, the only reason that uh, Literally, we have to start earlier in the, obviously, especially the winter months, is just because of the fact that it's it's just too dark here. You've seen, obviously, how dark it gets at the airports, and uh, it just wouldn't be any fun, um, especially a, as, as a viewer point. You know, I can hardly see anything with my eyes. It'd just be a, a hard one to sort of uh, do a stream in my eyes. Uh, in the pitch black, you know, so my apologies. Uh, NJ is asking, Matt, can you explain what squawk is? Squawk? Yes. Yes. So, uh, the squawk code, um, to put it kind of simply, it's a four, um, four number code, uh, which is given to you by uh, air traffic control, and when they search up that code, they can find you on their radar. That's, there we that's, go. That's uh, pretty much what it is. We can get quite, um, I can talk about it a bit more if you like when we got when, when this goes and there's nothing else to see. Happy days. And Justin, a pleasant good Friday morning from Washington DC. Enjoy the Ooh. spotting. How are you doing, Howdy. Justin? Hope you're doing very, very well. And Jason McKnight saying yesterday show was a treat. The A380 made my day. Mm -hmm. And we're lucky now, guys. We get two A380s during the uh, the Gatwick stream, which is brilliant. I would oh, have dear. stayed at yeah, this uh, there's two now. So it's uh, it's very good. Yeah. Uh, Wayne, uh, the 330 Neos do look, they do look, <coughs> great. They do look really great. Shame they, aren't, shame they weren't using them on the Orlando route. I think uh, no one, no airline like, from Europe uses their nice stuff no. uh, to Orlando. I think it's because it's quite a leisurely route. They probably don't feel any pressure to give them the best products. Oh, I know. And Ponds, Guards and Flying Things, thank you so much. Honestly, that means a lot. Thank you very, very much. And Jamie Campbell says, people sleeping in window seats are the bane of aviation enthusiasts. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but I kind of... Yeah. Actually, plus it was dark outside, you, to, you couldn't see anything outside anyway. I, I would never sleep during the day. I never, never sleep anyway. Never. 
I, 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 I say sleeping on the way back. What I mean is just drifting in and out of consciousness. That's it. Um, I'm yeah, always no. too excited to sleep on an yeah, aircraft. No, I can't sleep really regardless. I don't know how people get on a plane and just yeah, knock themselves out. I don't know. I can't. I can't do it. I am a very selfish window passenger though. Like if I want to get up, I'm getting up. <laughs> I don't care. Love it. Beautiful. So I think the propeller spin at, uh, I think it's 1000 or 1100. Oh, I can't remember. It's 1000 or 1100 RPM. Um, and then uh, for the climb, like for climb thrust, they actually reduce it to 900 RPM because they change the blade angle. The, um, the actual throttle levers control um, the blade angle. The blade angle. Uh, to control the thrust. Um, so what that means, guys, is that the blade can almost spin on its axis, which can mean that depending on the angle of attack, yep. um, they, it can produce more or less thrust. And then you have the prop levers, which will control uh, the actual speed of the propeller spins. They're very, very, very strange things. Like the Seminole was like that as well. And even to this day, I still don't get it. I just put the throttles to where I was told to put them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just do what you're told. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like inches of manifold pressure. Like, what? <laughs> and there we go. Happy days. So, yeah, that Helvet that the Helvetic is very much delayed then, because that is normally here, Matt. By the time we go, uh, or by the time we Where start, did it come from? Uh, Zurich, it was coming in from. Let's have a look. Uh, Jay Martin saying, Chris, I could not sleep a wink from Amsterdam to Minneapolis, September 2021. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much the same. When I get on a, when I get on an aircraft, I don't know what it is. It's sort of like, I'll, I don't know. I'll have a couple of minutes but it's very light sleep yes yeah, like very very light but i've seen people especially on the way back from like new york or vegas people get in the in the seat and they're just they're gone for the whole yeah. six hours but that is the best way to do it yeah 100 percent. of course it is um, paul yeah. usher how are you doing uh, the helvetic is number two to depart at Zurich. that is very late so he's very about an delayed. hour and a half out uh, Steve Frost and always goes down uh, well at this time of year. James McKnight saying we're one big family on this show. We are James and this is why uh, this is why we love it. It's a pleasure to actually uh, pleasure to do this, you know, it's incredible. Evelyn, thank you so much. Kevin Carter, Chris, 10 bites for dinner. <laughs> oh. Keith Grafter saying uh, greetings to Chris and all other aviation aficionados. Uh, only here for a while, got to see a man about Santa outfit. Not a problem <laughs> at all. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Yeah, no uh, no pints today, shall we say. So, yeah, Matt, it's, uh... yeah, I had a Thanksgiving. Um, a pro it. Proper Thanksgiving lunch. Um, thing of like Christmas and whatnot. <sighs> Christmas isn't that big of a thing over there. Like, they celebrate it, but it's not as big as Thanksgiving. And trust me, the Americans it. do turkey so much better than us Brits. I can imagine. Oh, I was trying what to get the. Uh, it? It? it looked like a seven eight, but it was uh, blinded by that light over. The, uh, blinded by the sun. Uh, <sighs> Susie Q never stepped on long haul flights. Frightened of missing something. Yeah, uh, I don't blame you. Especially if it's. Yeah, if it's. To be honest, now like the time I stepped on the Max, that was the first time I've ever stepped on a plane. Really? And I was I was actually quite gutted because as you I said you missed the whole lot. I was I was getting a, well I no, I slept for about two hours and it was a four and a half hour flight. It was transcontinental. Yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I like I, I really needed to because I was <coughs> I couldn't work out if it was like an allergy to something or what. But I was I was not in a good state, and um, yeah, it sorted me out that sleep completely. Happy days. It's like first flight on a max, <coughs> and I had no choice but to get some rest on it. <laughs> And Bay Capital Jam says, uh, <clears throat> looks like a steep angle during takeoff. It is, my friend. You can obviously see that there. Uh, Shell Colson saying, go A38, you're magnificent to watch and travel on to. 100%, I agree with you. And uh, Wes Westbrook saying, yeah, same here, guys, not a sleeper on aircraft. I don't know what it is, you know? Well, I have geeks, that's what yeah, it is. Yeah, that, that's what it is. You, there's so much stuff going on around you. Uh, Arthur Benny, what is going to struggle, LH? Uh, uh, bringing a retired guy to work on a map, no training required. Do you know what? That's a very good thing, like a very good point that you would make on there. But once again, it, I don't think it's as simple as that because 
the majority of the problems that seem to have sort of happen you need the security clearance don't you so even if you have been there before you've had your security clearance revoked and I believe it's the time that it's taking now to process the new applications I believe to yeah to go airside yeah I asked to go up to the tower at Sanford Airport and um, yeah they said they need about four weeks ah, to clear ah, yes so about that it, it doesn't doesn't happen straight away. Steve, yeah, Jack Frost. Oh, good old Jack Frost. <laughs> well, sharp tails, it's okay, my friend. We're pretty warm here. It's lovely. Nice three degrees. Yeah, I'm actually alright. I feel good. That happens when you put like, yeah. two layers of thermal. That's on, it, then exactly. Three layers of Brian Young, good morning to you. Hope you're doing very, very well. So, as we said, guys, more of a relaxed and sort of chilled out one today here. Looks like a few delays that we can't pinpoint. Uh, what's going on? Don't know whether there's something happening in uh, in Europe or something like that, but it's a uh, little bit quieter here than what we'd uh, what we'd experienced before. Paul Sunderson going home, getting in a warm bath, and going to enjoy a few alcoholics. Very nice. nice. Greg Collis, afternoon, Chris, and all in the chat. Made it in from work. How are you doing, Greg? Hope you're doing very, very well. Happy Friday. Happy Friday indeed. Uh, George A350, morning everyone. Can't stay uh, as long as it's past my bedtime. Don't worry, my friend. Hope you're uh, hope you're doing very well. Yeah. No alcoholic beverages for me tonight, guys. Obviously, <laughs> very early, uh, very early start tomorrow and a long one. Uh, Shark tomorrow Tales, night, yeah, right? tomorrow yeah. maybe yeah. <laughs> with the uh, with the football, 100%. Uh, Shark Tales, we are on runway departures. Here is 27. So arrivals, oh, okay. departures, okay. runway 27. I'm thinking I can hear aircraft heading over the top of us. Yeah, we've, got, we've not really got anything big coming over. Um, not for the second at least. Brilliant stuff. So I can't see anything on stand 10. Not really much happening stand 5. We'll just keep that in for a second then guys while we're just uh while we're just waiting. Can you talk about squawks? Yeah, go for it. You said that yeah. you wanted to talk about the yeah, squawk so, codes. Right, so uh, who who was it that was asking about squawks? Uh, I, I can't I can't remember, but yeah, the answer to your question about squawks. So 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 to put it simply, um, the squawk code is a four number code which uh, is used for uh, the controllers to uh, keep an eye on like, you basically. Uh, identify your radar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you have those, those squawk codes are given out and sent through a, what's called a transponder on an aircraft. And a transponder is what lets the aircraft be seen in the first place. That's how you can see all these things on, uh, um, on all your flight tracking apps. That's from the transponder. Um, there are different modes of transponder um, and those uh, modes have different kind of certifications and different uh, things that they bring. So you've got a mode A transponder, uh, which uh, gives you simply that code. So if you, uh, in so if you were to uh, input that code um, into your whatever the controllers use, I'll be honest, I don't really know how it works. Um, Chris, you probably do after going to South End one. Um, they can they can purely um, just, just just see that you're there and you're so just you're, like a blip yeah. kind of in in, uh, in their radar. You've then got mode C uh, or mode Charlie. Uh, that gives the uh, altitude reporting. Uh, so uh, in the uh, like a, it's called the pressure altitude. So it's your altitude to the kind of standard pressure datum. Um, it's, it's all quite complicated, but basically it, it, it will give the controller your altitude as well as your blip so they can see um, how high you are. Uh, the most common one now, especially in airliners and even a lot of general aviation are starting to have it now and in some uh, places it's actually a legal requirement to have mm -hmm. it now, is the Mode Sierra uh, or Mode S transponder and that gives you the full Monty of uh, information. You can get uh, aircraft type, call sign, uh, registration, altitude, speed, heading, vertical speed, all that stuff. Some of them are even so advanced that the controllers can actually see the autopilot modes that are engaged. That's, in, that's crazy. So let's that's say um, if, if, they were to, if they were to instruct you to descend down to like 8,000 feet yep. and you've put 9,000 feet in your, uh, in your autopilot panel and uh, uh, your MCP or your, or your uh, FCU, they can actually see that and then bring you up on it. Uh, so yeah, they're, 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 um, they're pretty clever. Uh, the squawk codes are also used to signal certain things. Uh, so you've got one code, which is a 7700, and uh, that, sh that indicates that you have a, um, uh, an emergency. So if they see that 7700, everything will 
um, like go red and flash up and they will know that something's wrong. Yep. You've also got 7600, um, which is for uh, loss of radio. Mm -hmm. So if you can't communicate, obviously it's sometimes hard to know if it's a radio failure or they just can't hear you. So if you squawk 7600, uh, the controllers will know that actually your your radio has broken and they can maybe give you uh, instructions. And, and know you might you have to be them. careful when you say a 7500 and what that actually means yeah. on here with uh, yeah, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you yeah, have so, to be and, careful and on that one. And then there's another one, 7500, which means unlawful interference. There we go. Uh, like that, the, yes. There uh, we go. In the, uh, in the aircraft. <laughs> so yeah, uh, you've also got uh, 1200, at least in the States, 1200 means VFR. Yep. So that means that you're just kind of there, like going along uh, as you like. Uh, and then you've got, uh, I think 7,000 is, is VFR in Europe, but don't hold me to that, don't hold me to that. So yeah, that's, uh, that's your 101 on squawk codes for you. There you go. And um, Wayne, not a problem, mate. Uh, right, so yeah, that literally, that Helvetic is very, very late, guys. So about an hour and 11 minutes uh, into that, it's not a problem. Matt Carter, started watching uh, in January this year. Uh, it's wonderful to, have, wonderful to have you back on stream today, Matt, like the good old days. Brilliant Thanks. stuff. <laughs> Uh, just Sean technology is frightening as then I can see planes and being totally flown without pilots well you never know potentially what's uh, sort of going on in the future and, uh, if anyone wants to track that uh, Helvetic um, feel free to just uh, input into your apps that's uh, Hotel Bravo Alpha Zulu Foxtrot HB AZF as the registration or LX456 and there uh, you can see where that is and uh, it's actually now just departed uh, Zurich climbing through nearly at 15,000 feet. Wow and Greg Hubers thank you so much honestly I really really appreciate that. Matt says uh, what is afternoon to you Chris and Matt how are you doing Waters? hope you're doing very well and Joel said, Matt, in the US, there are... S I don't know how many there are in the UK. No. I'm sure that stuff is all available online. It is. Yeah, Michelle, we, yeah, yeah, we have to be very, very careful on uh, some things that are said on uh, on YouTube on there. Obviously, uh, but Matt handled that very well with 7,500. <laughs> <laughs> so we just had another one, I think that potentially is that aircraft down there on the 20s because there's nothing on stand 10 and it looks like they still got the steps attached on yeah. stand 5. Looks like it. Ian Clark some brilliant stuff. Well, I've got a feeling, yes it is, it's that one. What's that? Right, so this Embraer, yeah. has got light flashing. Yeah, so Embraer will be the next one out guys. Uh, where's Westbrook saying, hi Matt, I listen to uh, Ghana Radio shortwave for North Atlantic traffic. Ghana, nice. Very nice. So you can probably just see the beacon light flashing on the Embraer down there guys. That looks like that's going to be our next aircraft outbound. How often do you see those um, Etihad 350s at Heathrow? Near enough in every week now. Really? Yeah, so near I, enough I, every I week. I should see one tomorrow. <coughs> you should. Yes, I don't know what time it got in though. I can't remember the time that it arrived. Okay. But you'll definitely see one on departure. Okay, Because nice. I'm sure that was about half nine, ten o'clock, <laughs> I think it was. I'm sure okay. it was. And uh, good. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> that's it. Uh, Cosmos and then <coughs> Matt has asked Matt when will you be fully qualified any ideas um, well it depends what you mean by fully qualified um, in terms of have a job with an airline uh, it's really hard to say two uh, years maybe if you want to push a, it a, a little bit less I'd say maybe a year or so decent uh, Philip that one I don't know my friend I, I, I don't know their weather? No, it was clear as anything oh, yesterday. Yeah, beautifully clear day. Much like it is today. It's, it was yeah. gorgeous yesterday at Gatwick. That was a beautiful afternoon. Yeah, I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, everything's burnt off. Look at it. It's looking a lot better. It'll be a foggy day tomorrow morning though, I bet. 
yeah, I have a feeling that will be the, uh, the case. I think we're all caught up on that, so we're going to keep our. Uh, eyes on that. Very quiet. The beacon is flapping. I think it flaps it down as well. Yeah, actually, it looks like it. So I can get a bit more yeah, zoom sure in on that. Down, so I reckon he'll be going any moment. Uh, I can't. I don't have it on radar though, so I can't. Really fire. Fire. Brilliant stuff. There we are. Uh, and Matt, there you go. So that's another aircraft. <laughs> I wonder if he's potentially <laughs> over there here. Yeah, he's, and, he's off. And there's another one, right, he's off. And <laughs> Wayne, that's it, SDTV Airlines. <laughs> we've got a drinks trot, we've got a pilot and we've got a host. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Danny, no, the Swiss hasn't been in yet. It's normally in by... Well, actually, it's normally leaving, but it looks like it's had a massive delay on the ground over there at Zurich. Big, big delay. So, uh, I don't know potentially what uh, sort of causing that. And it's an LX456, if you want to track it, Danny. And uh, Cosmologic 65 in Texas. Yeah, that's considering the weather you normally get. It was 65 where I was, and I was wrapping up. It was awful. <laughs> uh, and Martin Holmes and uh, Toronto, uh, in Toronto, Canada. All the best. To you all, Martin. How are you doing, Martin? Thank Absolutely you. brilliant. Uh, me and myself, Sam, we've got a Cessna 560XL. Uh, going to be inbound next as well, so I'm going to keep our, uh, our eyes just peeled for that. Oh, yeah, we've got this geezer on radar. Oh, there we are. Oh, that's a, uh, that's a Yankee Oscar going back to Edinburgh. Heading back to Edinburgh. Yeah, and then the one that uh, requested startup is off to Glasgow. And that's a Yankee Zulu. I'll get some information on that one for... Do you know what, Matt? Even over the skies above us today, going into Heathrow, it seems very, very quiet. Normally we're inundated with aircraft flying overhead of us, hey, really? but it's, uh, it's very, very quiet today. Oh, wow, this is interesting. Okay, so the aircraft that was uh, on stand uh, that you had on earlier yep. is uh, manufacturer number 404, 12 years old. Um, and it actually used to fly for um, Augsburg Airways and uh, Air Dollar Mitty uh, yeah. before going to Cobham Aviation and registered as an Australian yep. uh, reg. Um, and then joined the BA City Flyer in May 2018. Incredible. It's a, it's a leased aircraft. As, as with most of the, Everything, yeah. Most of the, embra the, uh, the Embraers. And Jeanette's saying, I'm going to be the marshal, I've got the wands. <laughs> I like that, that's brilliant. <laughs> We've got the... Uh, the full, fully staffed everything, guys. We're good. <laughs> Made it one, just had to go and get my own coffee again. <laughs> yeah, no, but then hang on, I thought American coffee was lovely. Yeah, Starbucks and Tim Hortons. Yeah, but yeah, but Starbucks is like, I was paying like six dollars for a latte. Yeah, but then it's five pound twenty-five for a large, uh, a large latte over here, mate. It's not that. Yeah, it's five, it's Starbucks. I uh, quite. I nearly screamed when they uh, when they set the price. Uh, Alexi saying uh, hello, guys from uh, so it's in Crimea. Have a nice day. Great mood to everyone. How are you doing? Hope you are doing very very well. Carrie T, how are you doing? Absolutely brilliant. Mike taxiway Mike, that's the big extension. That is. Uh, the one, the taxiway that runs parallel to the runway. That wasn't long. there for uh, many years ago. No. Not even many, a few years ago. Yeah, just a few it's years very, ago. Very I think it was all completed during lockdown, wasn't it? I'm sure I it was 2020. Right. I think you're right. There we are. They're moving. Brilliant. Ah, David Bone, right, I'm hearing from a colleague who's in Zurich just now that they've had really heavy snow, which might account for the delay of the Helvetic. Uh, that would probably make sense. Yeah. No, 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 Russ, I mean that they've got the Tim Hortons in there. I've heard that the uh, the coffee in the States is very good, and I've heard it between... I wish you used to have a Starbucks, but I've heard that Tim Hortons is uh, also just as good. Yeah, that, I, had a, I had a few good ones. But not, but not anything great. Yeah. Santa, I had a, 
I had a Costa coffee yesterday to warm up, and it was uh, it wasn't the best in my idea. I had, it was inspired by Toblerone, and it was just it was uh, awful. Right. It was awful. Uh, uh, Greg Hollis, and you see, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 me. Yeah. Uh, well, welcome. <coughs> Hope you're doing well, Greg. No, just Sean, I got that uh, thing. I was saying that Tim Horton's coffee is really good in America. I didn't have one. Starbucks was alright. Is that a Royal Jordanian yeah. up there? Yeah, yeah, it is. KEL, really? We've got the Royal Jordanian 7-8 above us. Thank you, Linda. And look at that. Oh, that's, that's steep. Yeah, this is going to be... Uh... Beautiful. Saying that, I took Tina's advice the other day, going back onto the coffee. I went over to Lakeside and I did have a Tim Hortons coffee from, uh, from Lakeside and it was pretty incredible actually. I must admit, and it was a lot cheaper than Starbucks. Nice. And they did have some other very nice looking bits and bobs in there, but uh, I'm on a diet at the second, so I sort of... Uh, yeah. The pre-Christmas. Yeah, the, the pre-Christmas yeah. diet. Yeah. So I went for the skinny latte with a couple of sweeteners. Nice. <laughs> I love the tracking shot with the handoff. I think it's so nice. Incredible. Wow, he was uh another aircraft coming inbound. Cheryl Colson. Can I try and get a landing? Yeah, go for it. Let's, let's, go on. Let's, let's, let's give it a go. Right, Thank so you. I always use it on full, full zoom. Yeah, and literally just follow it down on All full right. zoom. All right, let's give this a go then. <laughs> Linda Richardson saying a lovely, lovely sunshine and great live stream, boys. Thank you very much, Linda. Really, really appreciate that. And Michelle, they do, don't they? Tech Kelly, my son drew out from London City to Dublin on BA4466. Currently running a little bit late. What yeah, time? Uh, what time is that actually due out, Ted? Yeah, if you find the time, we'll be able to determine if we'll be here or not. Oh, this is a little biz jet. A little biz jet, and that will come all the way up here, Matt, so you can follow it literally all oh, the way. Oh, perfect. Until we're at the end. Uh, Cosmos. Funny you say that. We had the. Uh... Oh, small bounce. Nicely done. I've got that one, that Starbucks thing. It's. It's all right, put it that way. Ian Clarkson saying, a north-south divide, Chris. A large cost of flat white in Sheffield is £2.85. Thanks no for that. No way. <laughs> sorry, Chris, watch out. Yeah, sorry, man. Scoot round, it's all right. <laughs> oh, I'm a gruder. Oh. <laughs> One thing I've noticed, um, a difference between American and European flying, if you like. Yep. Um, because uh, brake temperatures are quite heavily influenced by um, the kind of outside air temperature, um, 
In the States, where it's quite hot, they often go all out on the reverse thrust on landing mm -hmm. um, and use fairly little braking. Whereas <laughs> here, which actually I must say I'm kind of, I'm really missing it compared to how what it is over had, there. Yeah. Whereas here they, they, they tend to go idle reverse. We have got a, an Embraer departing actually. A Magman, yeah, it looks like I'm being replaced. <laughs> We've all got to learn. Whereas I do, I do, I do really miss the kind of really loud whooshes, like reverse thrust that we got out there. Brian Williams, how are you doing? Hope you're doing okay, my friend. Nice. When I'm able to eat, brilliant stuff. Uh, Ian Clarkson saying uh, LX456 coming into France, about 59 minutes out, guys. Not a problem, brilliant stuff. Sweet. Can you still see the biz jet, Chris? Is it worth uh, is no, it? No, I'm blinded completely and utterly by that. Uh, that's all right. I'm definitely bringing sunglasses to Heathrow tomorrow. Yeah, I would. Yeah, he's shut down, he'll be hidden away. Really, Oops. I never, I never thought that. I thought, uh, I thought Tim Hortons obviously being sort of homegrown and home built there. I thought it would be uh, what we say dirt cheap over there. <laughs> David, yes. Well, actually, they said the the people in. Funny you say that. The, the guys in W H Smith at Terminal Five at Heathrow. They say, are you sure you want to buy these uh, the cigarettes there? It was £18.50 for a pack of uh, 20 cigarettes, which was, uh, yeah, put it that way, quite expensive. Andrew Short, how are you doing? Hope you're a good, I had another city today, mate, my favourite. I am very, very good, Andrew. Sorry, Chris. Ooh, Katie, very nice. It's hard to say at the minute, mate. The parts of the aircraft there because it looks like there was uh, quite a bit of a delay. Uh, take your pick. Tell, let's go with this one. Yeah. Go this one. Let's uh, stand fire. Yeah, looks yeah. like it, yeah. There we are. Happy days. <laughs> yeah, hardly anything coming in over uh, over here for LHR as well, mate. Let's have a look. I'll break out the radar. Bobby Ricketts saying good afternoon from a cold Blackpool. How are you doing, Bobby? Hope you're doing very, very well. Yeah, Heathrow, Heathrow is busy. There's just... Uh, There's just nothing coming over the, uh, the top here. There's something yeah. right above us, but I can't see. We might get an Etihad Dreamliner in about 10 minutes. Beautiful stuff. Oh, speaking of Etihad, plain news. Uh, Everyone, whack in your thoughts and what you think. Are you happy? Are you not? Uh, Etihad have announced that for summer 2023, they will be bringing back four of their Airbus A380s, and they have confirmed that the first group will be London Heathrow to Abu Dhabi. Brilliant stuff. I'm so excited to see them again. Yeah, so am I. And just Sean saying, looking at the water in the dock, it's not so windy there. Very nice, very peaceful, very, very calm here. And uh, Miss Walls, how are you doing? Hi, Chris and Matt. Hello. Rain, brilliant stuff. How are you doing? Oh, very nice. The food talk's coming out now. Friday afternoon. Always. <laughs> it's just how it works. It's not a finished stream without the food chat. No, it's not. <laughs> Jeanette. Whoop. Yeah, Karen, the, the tax is really weird. I, I, One thing I am not going to miss is you see something on a price tag and you actually pay more than what it says. Yeah, because with America, the tax, unlike here, it's not built in, no. is it? Everything everything here that you see on the shelf is, everything's included, yeah. like VAT hey, tax. You have to do what it says on the like price tag and then add 20% is seven, it? 7 7 in is Florida it 7 7 in Florida yeah 
Scatman Noob saying morning, good to hear the band is back together. <laughs> Brilliant stuff, Scatman, hope you're doing well. And Cute Seal, hello to you. <laughs> That's great. Oh, Stephen, love mince pies, yes. And ponds, gardens, and flying things, with or without gravy. Always with gravy. You've got to have. Unless you're, unless you're Ken. But I give Ken a really hard time <laughs> for not having gravy. Uh, Ted Kelly saying, where is playing on stand five going? At the second, I don't know because nothing's pinging up up there. As you said, it's very quiet at the second. We've come, currently only got uh, three aircraft sitting on the ground here. So there's definitely been the delays and things like that of some sort that's gone on. Oh, Rachel Dawes, yeah. Cosmos. Yeah, brilliant news on the A380. Looking forward to uh, to seeing that back. Jeanette saying, lovely, uh, loving every minute of this. You guys are smashing it. Thank you, Jeanette. Honestly, much love to you. Appreciate everything. Thank you so much. Great little afternoon, actually. Nice bit of aviation chat. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, yeah, I've just seen that as well. Sorry for the delay there. Thank you very much, Jeanette. Oh, 79% tax. Uh, yeah, California's even worse. I think New York <coughs> is nine. Uh, I don't know what California is. Actually, Ian's asked a good one here. Matt, what's the price of a gallon of Premier Jet Fuel, mate? Uh, I don't have the top of my head, but I'll find out. Anywhere in particular want me to look, uh, Ian? Ooh. That was nearly another phone lost. That's right. <laughs> right, let's have a look at... Um... Tell you what, we'll have a look at... Uh... Let's have a look at let's have a look at MCO. See how much they rip you off. <laughs> okay, so we go to runway. No, hang on, full screen. Uh, ah, where is it? James McKnight, I will be. FBOs. Okay, so uh, Jet A, it's uh, eight dollars. So. In Orlando, if you go to, uh, there are two FBOs. Uh, one of them is seven dollars seventy-one per gallon, which is probably about maybe one sixty-ish a yeah, liter. Uh, and then another one is eight seventy-three. And one hundred low lead, which is what you typically fill up all the kind of Cessnas and stuff with, is actually more. That's about nine, nearly ten dollars a gallon. Uh, if we have a little look at a kind of smaller airport, uh, let's have a little look at. Uh, ooh, let's see what we got. Watford FC, hello to you. How are you doing? Um, Bill Ellis, yes, this is Matt. Matt was with us before he uh, he flew over to Florida for his pilot's license, my friend. So now we're back, the dream team. <laughs> <laughs> Philip Jones, I think the A380 should be painted in a two-e colours for Jeanette. That would be nice. <laughs> uh, here we are, uh, Daytona Beach. Um, what did I say it was in? <coughs> it was about seven dollars, seven eight dollars in Orlando. Eight dollars, eight dollars ten. Wasn't yeah, it, I think uh, it was. here was his uh, just done. Uh, so yeah, six dollars fifty. So significantly cheaper. Yeah, so yeah, cheaper. let's say anywhere between kind of five to ten dollars, depending on what kind of airport you go to. Let's see, um, Shell. That makes sense. And. <laughs> <laughs> Linda, is someone shoveling snow in the background? No, they're building a, a bit of block paving, or they're having a bit of block paving laid down, shall we say. Tap resource afternoon, Chris, all late on today. How are the toes today? And welcome back, Matt. Tap all good. And toes are a lot better today, my friend. Obviously, uh, not standing on freezing cold, uh, wet floor, so it's all good. Uh, Matt, just literally by, uh, by the channel, by aviation. Literally, it's how it was. What's that, sorry? Uh, how, did we, uh, how did we meet? Uh, ah, right, okay, that's that's an interesting story. So it all started... Uh, With Ken, wasn't it? Yeah, so 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 uh, my good friend Ken, uh, he ran a publishing uh, firm and he did his amazing LHR magazine. Um, I started writing for that. He had... Uh, he knew uh, Chris uh, and uh, quite a few other members um, uh, who, uh, who were part of the team. And then I was invited um, as part of Speedbird TV to the Landor event, which was in July 2021. Um, I got a call from uh, 
Ken and Chris, and they were like, "Oh yeah, do you want to come and help out?" Uh, Can you day? help? <laughs> yeah, yeah, come and help out the day before. And then I—that's when I first met Chris uh, down at Dunsfold. And at that point, he was like, "Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome." <laughs> I was like, "Oh, thank you." Literally. And here I am. <laughs> Jet fuel here at London City is one ninety nine a litre. Right. Okay. So that's about the same price as what it is a litre yeah. of diesel. And that's at the London City Airport Jet Centre, FBO, just where that's that where that says pretty incredible up. prices. Oh, hang on, Pri fuel prices excluded VAT and tax. That's going to be more. Yeah. Than that. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, but we're saying possible snow for London Saturday. Stay safe. Ouch. We'll always yeah. uh, we'll always make a lookout on that, guys. Obviously, safety is the main priority. Yeah. <laughs> Linda, don't worry about it. Is that an aircraft coming in? Mm -hmm. I've already got an aircraft coming in. I can just see landing lights. Bruce, no, I didn't. Unfortunately, I only bought uh, I only bought a coffee. I was stopping at Costco actually to get uh, get some fuel, and I fancied a coffee. And I thought, you know what? There's a Tim Hortons right next to it, and it's all good. Uh, KELD84. Speedbird TV or Spotter's dedicated television. That yeah. sounds like a nice one. I like that. Either one. I'll oh, know it's you. Yeah, me myself. Do you know what? It is so nice connecting with people, as you've all seen in the uh, in the streams, guys. It's just so nice connecting with people that have got a a love for aviation and a passion. You know. Yeah. We got one from Katie. I to try to join the Speedbird TV. I just Facebook. answered that one, oh, mate. Sorry, yeah, sorry, that's all good. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Speedbird. What did you say it was? Speedbird TV or Spotter's dedicated television. Yeah. You could go either one. Well, oh the, no! The other one we came up with was a Speedbird, uh, Speedbird digital television. Yeah. That was another one. <laughs> Philip Jones saying petrol by me one forty eight. Wow. Cold coffee. How are you doing? So another aircraft company inbound. Very very quiet here today. Very quiet. Alright, so the aircraft coming in now is Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Uniform Manufacturer si manufacture Serial Number or MSN 674. It's an Embraer 190 uh, belonging to British Airways City Flyer. Uh, delivered to BA in September 2014. It was put into interim storage in March 2020 over Covid. Uh, um, yes, yeah, eight and a half years old. Brilliant stuff. Coming and JJ, oh sorry Matt, go uh, on. After you Chris. No, uh, JJ, brilliant Chris, favourite uh, favorite Friday, favourite stream of the week. Thank you very much JJ. I said a little bit quieter here today but there are, there are some unexpected delays going on all across Europe so that's probably uh, what's going on there guys. A lot, uh, lot of delays but brilliant stuff Jay. Yeah. And uh, next after this one is the uh, requested Ibiza flight. Nice. And then hopefully we shouldn't have too much longer for LX456, should we? Hopefully not. Karen, yes, that they do. I think I got diesel for one sixty one pound sixty-five a litre. Yeah, so and it was supreme diesel as well, so that was that was really good. It yeah. was worth it for the 30 pound I think it was £32 I paid to join it and it was worth it for the fuel prices, so it's good. I think it was uh it was saving about 15 or 17p a litre, which is quite a lot of uh, money to be saving every week. Yeah, it was so, it was so cheap across the pond for the gas. But at the same time, they do all have like these gas guzzling V8 pickup trucks. So it's half the price, but they fill it up twice as often. <laughs> so kind of. <laughs> like they were, one of them was, they were, they were talking about like fuel economy in their cars and they were bragging and they were like, oh I've got a new car and it's so economical and I was like, oh is it now, yeah. right, okay, how much does it get? And they were like, oh, I get 30 miles to the gallon in it. Wow. <laughs> 30, we will get like 60 over here if, if we drive carefully enough. I think my little 1.3 vehicle, Yeah. it gets... If I drive it sensibly along the motorway, I can get about 57, 58 miles yeah. to the gallon. And it's quite, it's quite good. I Thank you, Cosmos. Really appreciate that. Yeah, hit the like button. It's free of charge. 
Uh, <laughs> this is a Yankee uniform, just to, as a reminder, in from Dusseldorf. In from Dusseldorf. And Ian Clarkson on the saying LX456, uh, about 46 minutes out. 421 knots, 38,000 feet. Brilliant. Quite the lurk back of all, but uh, we're getting it. Definitely up there. <laughs> yeah, nice. Beautiful. Hitting, hitting the brakes. Yeah, I am. I am. I am missing reverse right, thrust usage. I can imagine. Back, it, like, it, it was. It was like, even when I flew the 175. He went full reverse thrust, but only for about two seconds. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's a video I will be posting up at some point. Um, I have a massive backlog of uh, onboard videos, uh, yeah, which some, some people seem to quite like. One of them did really well. I put up. Uh, it was the Washington National. Uh, yeah, that um, was really arrival. good. Uh, about 400,000 of you have watched that That's so far. That's incredible. So that is on Facebook though, it's a different, yes. yeah, it's a different thing to uh, yes, the I old am, YouTube. I am, I am working to try and put a few uh, of those videos on YouTube, it's just I'm being incredibly careful, especially because some of them have got copyrights and whatnot. Yeah. But I feel like the onboard stuff should be able to go up at some point. Saying that, to be honest guys, I've got, I think we've got a backlog of about 45 to 50 videos of uh, highlights that are meant to be posted up on YouTube as well yeah. so they will they will be coming I promise you yeah. I, I'm not going to spam uh, the whole YouTube channel though with uh, tons of highlights it will be done sort of a couple of videos a day that will be uh, uploaded so I promise you I'm going to uh, get everything done yeah and then my like my onboard stuff I, ho I, I, I hope you lot like like watching them uh, I do recommend if you do watch them uh, put some like uh, headphones on because I try and make sure that I capture all the kind of all the sounds, sounds. And whatnot. try and make it as immersive as possible but you've got some pretty cool bits coming up um, if, I, if I must say so myself <laughs> uh, you've got some bits from uh, United's uh, 757s uh, which one of them is already up of that amazing uh, uh, RNP approach into Newark which involved like a really long right hand, right hand sweeping turn into runway 29 with beautiful views of Manhattan yeah decent uh, I'm gonna put up the departure out of MCO which has some brilliant noises in there I must say <laughs> um, the uh, Embraer uh, ERJ uh, which included a 30 knot crosswind landing into Philadelphia uh, which was quite an interesting yeah, one yeah I can bet <laughs> and then a few bits and bobs from uh, Delta's 757s uh, out of uh, Philadelphia and into Atlanta so I've got some pretty uh, fun stuff which I can't wait to show you all so lots of content to be uh, uploaded guys and yeah. we promise you we're going to get round to it and then of course all the trip reports which i put on my own channel i also uh, share on the page and the live streams <laughs> yeah <laughs> lots and so lots I, of stuff I, I like to think uh i think we cover everything. Of everything yeah i hope we i feel we do yeah and we all, we're always uh, after your feedbacks if there are things that are maybe going up and you're like meh I don't like yeah feedback is critical guys you know what I say that it's sort yeah. of like any feedback is criti critical yeah so we, we don't we don't want to be putting hours and hours into making a particular something that's not gonna thing that no one's actually interested in but uh, if we do have any uh... oh thank you very much Daniel uh, but if, if we do have any uh, new people, you can find us on a wide array of uh, social media. Uh, you can find us on uh, Facebook at uh, SDTV Speedbird TV or Facebook.com slash SDTV uh, Aviation. Uh, we're also on Instagram as SDTV underscore live. live. Uh, what else? We're on TikTok, TikTok. as uh, Speedbird TV, uh, where some of uh, Chris's highlights are posted on there. And we've got Twitter as well, yeah. we have, but that's not really used as much as it probably should be, put it yeah. that way. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we can be found on pretty much anywhere, so... Uh, We're trying to... Karen Monster's had a smooth landing by the BA, brilliant yeah. stuff. Uh, Joel Coney asked a quite a good question. Uh, there, did you mate. ever do a VFR New York yeah. City corridor flight? Got to stand at 1100 AGL. No, I've not done that. That sounds great. Though. <coughs> but I, we uh, we flew into uh, New York's LaGuardia um, on a Frontier A321, and we got some. Oh, that that, that was great. We were expecting uh, the visual for three one, uh, but which is basically like a really tight left hand turn, level out the wings at like hundred feet, something crazy. 
um, but the winds changed, they changed it. Uh, but we still got some beautiful views of uh, New York and then that RMP approach on the 7.5 was great. Yeah, it's incredible. It was 28 knot winds that day as well. Oh. So they, that's why they used it because um, they couldn't use runway 22, they had to use runway 29 which they only ever use in high wind conditions because uh -huh. the wind, the crosswind component would be too big for the regional jets. Incredible stuff. Uh, um. Uh, East Mar Vista San, good morning from Los Angeles, California, 6.33 a.m. Well, Ooh. very good morning to you. Morning. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great one. Howdy. Uh, Michelle Johnson saying, uh, love the live stream, Zanka. I miss so much in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, live is best. We've had, uh, we've had some hiccups, shall we say. Uh, but it's all good. We get there in the end, guys. We really do. Yeah, the technology. Actually, no, I'm not going to say it. No, no, no. Don't don't talk <laughs> about the technology. Not at the second. No. Right. So just put the chocks on. And this was Alpha Delta, wasn't it? This was the flight in from Ibiza. Ibiza. Yeah. Oh, I've got a funny story about wheel chocks. <laughs> so I did a flight. I did a flight to Gainesville, um, which is it's actually an, uh, well, it's not it's not international, but uh, Delta fly there with the seven one sevens. American fly there with their CRJ, so it's, it's, it's a proper airport. And a I flew, real good, yeah. Uh, I flew to the, like, to the FBO, to the private terminal. It was my first time going, I was on my own as well, I was even with the instructor, my first time pulling up at one of these terminals. And um, first of all, could not understand the marshalling. So I made a <laughs> right, like, I, I just messed up my parking completely. Um, and then uh, I got up, I said, oh yeah, full tanks please. Got in, had my, all the free stuff that I had to offer. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and then I, um, I got I got back to the aircraft and uh, they put wheel chocks on it, which back at our home airport we we we, uh, like we tie the aircraft down to the ground, but these guys put wheel chocks on it, and uh, I had no idea what to do with them, like and uh, so I, I I called up reception. I was like, um, they've put wheel chocks on my aeroplane. I don't really know what to do with them, and she was like, oh yeah, it just like leaves them to the sides. And I was like, what do you mean just leave them to the sides? And she was like. Yeah, just like take them off and i was like yeah but isn't that just leaving leaving like for an object debris on the ramp on the ramp <laughs> and she was like no 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 so then this guy came over and tried to help me out and i was like right what do i do with the chocks and he was like yeah just take them off and i was like yeah but like put them where what do i do <laughs> and and um and he was like well are you a private jet and i was like no i'm not when he could see i was in my little uh <laughs> i was in my little pipe but he, he he was like joking around and then uh, he was like, yeah, so I'm not going to take them off for you. And I was like, yeah, but I don't know what to do with them. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah just, just put them next to the airplane. And I just was like, what, like here? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, okay then. Yeah, that was quite embarrassing. <laughs> Looking like I had no idea what I was doing. And ponds, gardens and flying things. Uh, if you could send the message again, my friend, I haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen a message come through from you. Uh, unless I'm very far behind. It's always send it back in mate I haven't seen it my friend Let's get my no. <laughs> and yes it did look like who was that uh, Stephen Owens it looked like that Marshall uh, was learning it really did and you've probably seen it quite a few times actually from uh, Marshall's training actually here it's the best thing that they can do like it really is it's so nice actually seeing uh, Marshall as sort of being taught on the job, it's great, it's absolutely brilliant. Job Cohen, brilliant stuff. And David Mead, afternoon Chris, afternoon all, hope all is well, how are you doing? Not a mascot, brilliant stuff. <laughs> uh, Joel Cohen, yeah, that'd be amazing. Just trying to have a look, man. Yeah, I, I can imagine it's probably all Bravo over there because between LaGuardia, I don't know, is LaGuardia, is LaGuardia Bravo? And Mac Cat Lady, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. Hope you're keeping safe. Honestly, brilliant stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, LaGuardia is Bravo. Yeah, 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 look, yeah, yeah, oh, Joel's like. Michelle. Can... Yeah, good. sorry, Mac. Yeah, that's, that's right. Oh, a massive shout out to you, Ponds, Gardens and Flying Things. How are you doing? Hope you're doing very well, my friend. Brilliant stuff. 
Sorry, mate. Honestly, when we're sort of concentrating on things, as I said, a few things will uh, potentially get missed, but we're trying to... Uh, we try to get round to everything. You know what we're like, guys. Lots and, of stuff uh, up. Uh, Helen is saying, I was watching London City stream today and comments have been turned off. Works for other channels. Uh, Helen, no comments have been turned off on anything on here. They're both working on Facebook and on YouTube. Uh, we've currently got... We've had thousands of messages already sort of come through on there so do you want to just double uh, double check could you tell yeah. me what you may need to sign in make sure you're signed yeah, in potentially your <coughs> hot and flying things not a problem my friend all good but uh, yeah Helen let us know because we've uh, we've had messages coming in and we've sort of read out near enough all of them on there so I'll, uh, I'll have a look Let's have, uh, tell you what, let me double check on the, uh, the Facebook. <laughs> Greg, no, trust me, we, we are concentrating. I don't know how Chris does it. Like, even, even when he's, like, putting all his tech together and setting it all up, I have no idea what he's doing. I just, I just, <laughs> as far as I'm aware, it's magic. Right, let's hang on, let's have a look. Currently, guys, we've got uh, Catherine Green. Thank you so much for that. Honestly, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, Helen saying, why have comments been turned off during today while I was watching on YouTube? Uh, Helen, there was no uh, nothing, obviously, uh, turned off on there. So uh, yeah, just make sure you signed in. If 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 you if you're not signed in, then I know that. Can't, you can't yeah, everything's uh, everything's on there, so I hope that helps, Helen. There's uh, nothing's been turned off, as you can see. There is the the chat has been flowing rather quickly today, should we say? Let's get my new brilliant stuff. Right, so we're going to be on the countdown now for the uh, Helvetic, wherever that is. Karen, take care. We'll see you again on the next one. Hope you're doing very well. What's that? See if we can. Uh, it's just going above the dockside apartments. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, that's a 900 as well. They're quite rare down at Heathrow. So there we go. What was that cafe, man? Yeah, but they normally use the 1000s, um, whereas this is a 900. Uh, I'll get some information up on it. Well, I don't mean, oh wow, so it's manufacturer serial number 61, uh, so quite old, it's uh, just turned 6 years old, uh, it's kitted out with 38 business class seats, 28 premium economy seats and 214 economy seats, uh, powered by two Rolls Royce Trentex WB engines of course, and was delivered as Bravo Lima Romeo Juliet to Cathay Pacific in December 2016. Little Beautiful. Early a little early Christmas present for Cathay. Very nice. Very, very nice. And Keith Grafton, not a problem at all, my friend. All good. Look at how very calm that uh, that water is here. Very, very calm. Yeah, Cosmos, it may potentially be. Uh, Derek Gray, Karen Glenn, Jeanette, not a problem at all. Glad you enjoyed. KELD84, well, I will be hoping for the best tomorrow evening at 7. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Is that football? Yeah. Uh, did change. I hear the French uh, are quite defensive, like good at defence. Yeah, they was. That's how we look. Um, yeah, well, Helen, I can only apologise about that, but we've had uh, everything's been working fine on both YouTube and uh, and on Facebook, so I can I don't know obviously what happened uh, when you sort of try to to log in or anything like that. So very weird, very very weird. Where's technology when you need it? Yeah, exactly. Uh, Tina, brilliant stuff on that. Thank you very much. Hot on that, uh, Jamie. Right, so Ian Clarkson saying LX 456, currently 32 minutes out. Brilliant stuff. Nice. Yeah, it's been a very weird one here at LCY today. Not normally like this. Nah. 
normally very but bear in mind now is normally when you would have started just started yeah just started so it might pick up right? well the thing is every week that we've been here from the like the earlier saw the thing every one of these stands has pretty much been full oh really yeah uh, James but Knight is coming home and <laughs> Philip Jones and the LV uh, just approaching the channel brilliant stuff oh uh, welcome so a bit of ground ops Edward James saying good on you Matt follow your dreams mm, thank 100% you. thank you <laughs> Bruce uh, Dino A saying good afternoon there. everyone looks lovely and warm there Chris yeah it's not uh, it's alright <laughs> shall we say it's better than uh, yesterday uh, we've got Michelle John Sarsky how's the wind song it's over there and it's pretty uh, floppy let's have a look uh, I'll show you the wind um, to Michelle. sorry mate Michelle wanted to see the wind sock. Uh, just like that. Simon, I blocked it, it's all good. Yeah, Bill Willis, I think that um, anyone that's done an update, YouTube creators, you can see a very limp wind sock right there. And uh, YouTube actually posted it up on Twitter. I did retweet it. Anyone that done the updates with YouTube, apparently we're having uh, a lot of trouble. Yeah, I've got a oh, okay. thing down there. I was having a lot of trouble. Apparently, uh, we've signing in and watching stuff on YouTube, so it seemed to have been a, uh, a YouTube problem. Oh, hang on. Sorry, mate. Is that a Virgin 7 8? Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Oh, that's a GV New. That is uh, the. Maiden Dreamliner delivered to Virgin. Very nice. And uh, it's named, if I remember correctly, this is from memory, I think it's named Birthday Girl. And it was delivered in 2014 because that was 30 years after Virgin wow. Atlantic was founded. So it was like a Virgin kind of branded this Dreamliner as like a 30th birthday present to the company. Eight years old. Yeah, Incredible. hence why, birth, hence why birthday, girl. birthday Girl, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> the sock. Everyone loves the wind sock, guys. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we can get the wind up. Uh, so, <coughs> of course, as per usual on today's stream, <laughs> according to Four Flight, the winds have now changed to 290 degrees at six knots. Brilliant. It's an automatic observation, uh, which was made at 1420 uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Brilliant stuff. And Ian Clarkson saying, LX456 currently in descent mode, 200 kilometers to fly, 26 minutes out. Brilliant stuff. Bill Ellis, not a problem at all. KELD84, saying, what's the uh, heaviest aircraft uh, that can land in London City? Well, currently at the minute, it's the A220, uh, but there are certifications being made for the E2195 or E19. E195 E2, so once that's there, it's going to be obviously uh, a bit more extended than the current Helvetic we're going to be having uh, landing here. So it's going to be really good for, uh, for London City Airport and Devon McKay, plenty of that. And in case you're wondering about the whole weight thing, I've just Googled here, uh, the A220 100, uh, which operates here, here, has a maximum takeoff weight of 63.1 tonnes. Oh, right. Uh, that's the heaviest. And Helen W saying, got to my channel on another phone. Uh, and chat works on that brilliant stuff. stuff. Have, did you do an update by any chance, Helen? Of um, have you, if you're running an iPhone, I know that they was uh, they was dealing with a few problems on the uh, on the YouTube app. And there it is, brilliant aircraft in there. And Caroline Wright, no wind here at all. It's very very calm, should we say? Leslie White saying in next the BA flight from Berlin. Nice. Brilliant stuff. Can I grab this one? Yeah, go for awesome. it. Awesome, thank you. Go for it, my friend. Uh, Michelle Johnson, I was just wondering because Stancy went back to zero four this morning and we're using runway 22 last night. Yeah, I don't so, like the 04s as much. Nah, but the thing is with zero fours at Stancy, you, it's a lot more unrestricted and it's it's really nice. Oh, really? Mm. I quite like the um, the proximity of 2 2, though, like you, you, you can hear them as they touch yeah. down. And and Mark Garner says watching some great videos from Oz Melbourne and uh, Sydney uh, on YouTube. Quality heavies there, brilliant oh, stuff. Especially when you got the old seven falls up until recently. Yeah, that must have been pretty cool. 
LNW, no worries. Well, yeah, as I, as I said, everything's been working, so I uh, can only apologise on Sorry. some other sort of uh, behalf why it wasn't working. <laughs> Stephen always yeah, the windstock's on strike. You can obviously see uh, <laughs> when, when you're panning around, just how it's like a mill pond. I can't get the aircraft. Where is he? Where is he? He's just. Ah, oh, got him, got him, got him, got him. Yeah, 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 there we are. He's pretty far away, but he'd be configured for landing at this point. He would. He looks pretty high, but we have to remember <laughs> it's the descent is nearly twice as steep. After this, Chris, I reckon it's pretty worth grabbing the charger because that's going. Yeah, down. I'm going to. Uh, what's it on? Ten. Yeah, it's going down pretty quick. So uh, at this point during the flight, uh, the pilot flying would be either. Have, he'd either have the autopilot uh, engaged um, or, or they would be hand flying it down uh, following, following the ILS and the flight directors. Uh, the pilot monitoring, they would be ensuring that uh, the flight mode enunciators are all uh, showing the correct modes. Uh, they would also be uh, just, just checking up all the systems, all the engine parameters, making sure that everything is working as they should. I don't really know exactly uh, the kind of procedures on the Embraer. I've never really studied it or I've never really properly spoken to any pilots who fly it and there's certainly no really good simulator software uh, available for, the, for no, like desktop not. simulators. There was one thing, it was quite expensive, but I don't think it gives the real... No, no, no. no. And no. it was quite dear actually for what they were uh, asking. Yeah. It's about 50 odd quid, something like that, I believe. Yeah, it's probably like the Wilco or Phil <coughs> there, some mm. uh, Embraer's. Yeah, no, there's, there's nothing that great. I bet you're all good, so... Yeah, but I know, like, in, a, uh, in the Airbus on the flight mode annunciator, uh, 350 feet it will say land, and uh, if you do not see that at 350 feet, if you're doing an auto land at least, and you can't see the runway, you have to go around. And um, Magman20 saying, is it true only captains uh, can fly into London City? Yes, is it true. is, but it also depends on airline preference. What do you mean? Well, one of the Luxair pilots, he said that it always depends on, he said they will let first officers land, but he said it's an airline sort of preference on there. He said it is captains only, but there have been times. Oh, so certain where, airlines yeah, will make certain it. Yeah, certain airlines. Captain only. Okay. Oh, wow, that's interesting. But it doesn't happen a lot, put it that way. We get a registration on that. That's a Yankee Mike for the number crunchers. David Mee, brilliant stuff. Uh, yeah. Michelle Johnson, what that feels like on board the aircraft when you're uh, actually doing that, you can actually feel the nose pitch up, you can feel... Oh, you can feel it, Yeah, can you? you can literally feel the sort of, the touchdown, and then the braking is very immense. It sort of pushes you, like, in front of your seat. It is uh, an incredible, oh, wow. incredible experience. Rachel London, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very well. Susie Q, the bird. I love your, I love your video because you could even hear the tyres squeal. Yeah, this, I was literally sitting on top of like everything. Yeah, I've never, ever, ever heard that in an aircraft bigger than like a light aircraft. I oh, know it's madness, isn't it? Even the seminar, you didn't hear tyre squeal. <laughs> Susie Q, good landing, nearly as good as Ryan here. Well, we've, we've kind of learnt that all the myths aren't true, really. Yes, we have, have and we, we? we've already seen that, so the myths are definitely not true with Ryanair. Haters be hating. Greg Hollis, yes it did. And you know what, I do miss the, uh, I do miss the Logan Air, but I'm, I'm wondering if potentially they've uh, just cut down their flights, guys, here. I think there's one in the morning. I know exactly who to ask and they'd be able to give me a good answer for it. Mm. I'll find out for next time. Happy days. Mike B saying good afternoon, Matteo, Chris, and all the STTV hey. crew. How you doing, Mike? And Denver McKay, enjoying the knowledge you guys provide. Thank you very much, Denver. Honestly, really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing okay. And uh, Macon Sharon saying out, watching World Cup with STTV. Brilliant stuff, Macon. Hope you're doing okay as well. Absolutely incredible. Right, Matt, I'm going to just plug yep. the... Uh, Go for it.
plug this in just while we're uh, running a little bit lower on the battery. Yeah, wind's updated four minutes ago now. Uh, it's a 1450 winds at 300 degrees at five knots. Beautiful stuff. Susie Q. Oh, you can. Trust me, uh, when you're on the city flyer. Okay. 27 at 4 is the instantaneous uh, wind. Do you want to grab this one, Chris? Yeah, I'll go, go for it, for mate. It. We're close. <laughs> <laughs> Some people. Uh, where, where, where were you landing, though? Yeah. That's the, uh, you go on 11,000 11, feet or 10,000 feet. It's a long one. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very long runway. Loads of room. Our biggest runway at the home uh, at Sanford. Was, uh, that was 11,001 feet. Wow. That ah, was a proper runway. It didn't have centre line lighting though. Really? Which was strange, yeah. yeah. Susan Rawlinson and uh, this is BA, uh, uh, BA Aircraft inbound from Amsterdam. Thank you very nice. much, Susan. Should we get some information? Susie Q. Yeah, I'd love some 7.4s. Obviously, they will never fly in here, but even going overhead and uh, they're sorely missed, put it that way. <laughs> Wayne's back with a coffee. Mm. He's enjoying every minute of that. All right, so the aircraft before your eyes is Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Whiskey. My bad. Lima Charlie Yankee Victor, sorry. Manufacturer number 255. It's 13 and a half years old. It's got 98 economy seats on board and uh, used to be uh, N registered and flew for Republic Airways. No way. Uh, which uh, Republic Airways is like a contract airline uh, and they operate flights for United Express, American Eagle. Ah, uh, right, yep. It's really weird how they do it out there because they get um, America, like all this kind of regional subsidiaries of the major airlines. Yep. Uh, like, uh, well, the big three, uh, United American, Delta. Um, they they use other airlines to operate their regional their, stuff. Their, their regional flights. Yeah. So my United Express flight was operated by Republic Airways, and it was Republic Airways pilots, Republic Airways cabin crew, everything. And Derek Gray, uh, not a problem, Derek. Uh, I'll tell you what, we wish you, I hope you uh, are on the stream before uh, for Christmas, mate, but have a, an absolutely blinding one. If we uh, don't see you before then, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Hope you've uh, been good. And good uh, Russ, Hi Chris, welcome home Matt. Uh, sat here with a fire on watching Fantastic Friday stream. Oh, you've got Keep the it fire up. On. He's got the fire on, that's it. Thanks for tuning in Russ. Uh, Ian James Hodges and I missed the Danair comments. Oh comments on Laker DC ten and the Super VC ten. Greetings from Gatwick. Hello to you, my friend. Hope you're doing very well. Greg Hollis, loving the uh, banter between Chris and Matt and the fascination. That's ah, brilliant. Glad you're all enjoying it, guys. As I said, just a little bit of a, a chilled out one here this afternoon. Cannot wait for, uh, for the big morning rush. Yeah, the tomorrow. big morning rush tomorrow. And when we get to about the end of February time next year, and we'll get back to our uh, evenings. Nice. Beautiful. Nicely done. Uh, Anti-skid working very hard, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> so heading on to stand four. So it's looking like it's uh, starting to get a little busier. Ah, he's he's going to have a challenging parking job. He's going to have to squeeze in between two. Yeah, because he's got the fuel tanker right there, hasn't he? Beautiful. Love it. And that is Yankee Victor. So Golf Lima Charlie, Yankee Victor. We probably caught the whole BA uh, City Fly fleet here to, this afternoon, I would, I would think. Actually, no, I haven't seen the 700th Embraer, so I wonder where she is. Uh, that was taking off when I was on the train. Ah. I saw it, yeah. That's Yankee November. November. Yeah. Because yeah, you flew that, didn't you? I did. Paul That's Andrews, it. how are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing really, really good. Uh, was there any in-flight service on BA City Flight? Yes, there was, and that was from Amsterdam. We had, uh, what did we have? Literally full bar service. Um, oh, wow. Crisps, I think they gave us. Literally, when, when I say a full bar service, I mean alcoholic drinks, Coca-Cola, um, obviously other soft drinks are available, orange juices, tea, coffee, 
It's uh, a very different vibe flying City Fly than it is obviously normal BA, but oh, it's great. Wow. I, I didn't realise how um, low the ceilings were. On yeah, the very low. Uh, but it, like looking at them, they, I think because proportionally it looks the same as like your A320 or something, you almost think it's going to feel just as big inside. Yeah. Well, the thing is, when you fly the City Flyer, and this is why I'm starting to really sort of uh, want to fly from here and with City Flyer more, the comfort in the uh, Embraer in the cabin is very, very nice. The, uh, basically the leg room is so so good yeah um, Rachel London saying just back from a uh, bit of Christmas shopping absolutely freezing <laughs> David Mead Helvetic 8 minutes out brilliant stuff Ken Watt 100 saying Republic Airlines uh, but yeah 1, 2, 3, 4 nearly as good as a speedbird uh, Michelle Johnson roll on the lighter lights yes Holly Mitchell saying hi Matt hello and uh, Helen W saying a light flying city flyer I do as well I'm really uh really liking it and to be honest with you they're putting uh, quite good fares on at the second with some of these oh. so it's really good yeah uh, I'm Bruce, have to yeah. hop on one you need to do it i, can fit. I think my, my my two kind of bucket list european flights at the moment are i'd love to hop on that norse dreamliner yes. to oslo from i was Gatwick. talking about that yesterday yeah, yeah. just hop on I, I found tickets you can get them for like 150 pounds return which like although it's it's not cheap. I feel like it's something that I quite like. It's to cheap experience. for a it's cheap cheap for a Dreamliner. Yeah, it's just it's just a different experience, isn't it? And um, I'd love to like uh, head down to Skip Hole uh, from here. Yeah, but with uh, KLM, I'd like to like KLM City Hopper. That's it. And Oswin Brooks, Sam, morning again, Chris from sunny Jamaica. Ooh. Who is the person working with you? Is he an airline pilot? He will be very very soon, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> How are you Thanks. doing, Oswin? Hope you're doing very well. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Friday. And Leslie saying we've got a BizJet coming in as well, just currently over the Thames Estuary. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, Ken Finch. I potentially wonder if that Helvetic's going to have a, uh, a lengthy delay here, if they've potentially got some things going on in Zurich. I'm not sure. No. Well, I would have. I would have thought the Swiss would know how to handle snow. I would have as well, in all at, fairness. At the airport. Uh, Greg Ollis saying, I'm going to miss LHR tomorrow. I take my colleague to uh, Goblin's 30 minute drive, but she uh, hates driving there. Not a problem, Greg. Well, uh, it will be on uh, on Cash Up. I hope you have a, a safe drive. Yeah. It'll be on Catch Up, and if you prefer live, next weekend. Yeah, next weekend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, brilliant. So. Do you know what else I saw my first one of, and I was so, so happy. Go on. I, I forgot they existed. Um, the BA321 COs. Ah. Um, they, I, th I think they brought them back in service at like, end of May, beginning of June. Yes. Um, Weren't they all parked up in like Glasgow or something? Some like in that? Glasgow, some in Madrid. See, I was very, very happy to see one of them. So I can't wait to ho hopefully see some more <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Uh, Les Locke asks, what happened to the small four engine jets that flew out of London City? So the small four engine jets, the BAE 146. Or Avro um, RJs. Or Avro RJs, yes. Yep. Um, they retired them. Well, I know that CityJet that was operating the contract for, I think it was Aer Lingus, I believe that they retired um, all of the, the 146s. So, yeah. unfortunately, we don't get them anymore. Do you know what? I had Swiss a... Swiss uh, as well. Yeah, they got a rid Swiss. Of them in 2018. Uh, they was a great aircraft. I mean, I've caught many, many times to be a... Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll post some of the, uh, the videos up if I haven't done. On, uh, on YouTube of some of the BAE 146s. That was incredible. Yeah. It, it's, it's an interesting, so nice out of here It's as an well. interesting uh, aircraft because uh, so BAE, BAE Aerospace mm. uh, made the 146 they and did. they made the, it was the BAE 146, 100, 200, 300. Um, and then I think Avro absorbed yes, they BAE. Did. So then Avro rebranded <coughs> them as uh, the RJ70, 85 and 100. 100 yeah. uh, and they put their own updates in. Uh, they updated the avionics and did some bits and bobs. And then um, they started actually building a brand new version called the RJX. Yes. Um, but they only got to build one prototype. I think it might have flown once or twice. I don't really know exactly what happened to it. But they only built one, and that's currently on display at the uh, Runway Viewing Park at Manchester. Yeah. So if anyone fancies seeing a little bit of BAE history, uh, def there. definitely yeah. head down to Manchester Airport to the Viewing Park, Every and uh, you can see one of the pro well the prototype RJX there. And Robert Brunson, hello from San Diego. How are you doing, my friend? Pond's Garden and Flying Thing saying it's coffee time. 
Brilliant stuff. And Ian Clarkson, uh, I haven't seen it in sight yet. What's that? Uh, LX456. She, oh. si she should be minutes out. Yeah, she's turning on final. And uh, Wayne was saying, yeah, that's uh, it's crazy to think that Noors have a 787 yeah. uh, in storage at Prestwick, which will be going for scrap because it has stood too long. That's, no way, really? That is terrible, Wayne. What on earth? It's never carried a passenger. Wow. That's terrible. Ouch. That sucks. There, there's the there's the umbra. Ah, right. Okay. Yes. So it's just making its turn, guys. Ah, oh, Simon. Incredible aircraft. To work. What did you do with them, Simon? What did you work as? Please tell us some stories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shell Colson saying they shouldn't do away with 747. It's turning out to uh, uh, be invaluable as cargo. It is 100%. That might be quite cool. Oh, actually, if it can, uh, if I can get it. The thing is, it's a very Ah. Ah, it's a very that's a tricky angle Matt yeah. I think that's one of the 321 COs yeah it is in from Edinburgh brilliant stuff Edinburgh, and right, yeah, Terry Stapley. There, there's the uh, they have a 146 done now on Avro, um, currently at, uh, at Norwich or the museum at Norwich. Yeah, they yeah, they've got one there, go Norwich and... Aviation Museum. Oh, I'll have to go and check out that one, though. Uh, Stephen, I was saying we've got the South Falcon coming up the Thames as well. Brilliant stuff. Right, I did see it just down there, but I can't. Let's look. Oh, there it is, it's making its. I know, oh, it's crazy, isn't it? So, five past three here, guys. The sun is uh, really on its way for setting. It got dark about seven o'clock where I was. Blimey. It was nice. And uh, Leslie, yeah, see, it's going to be absolutely pitch black by then. Yeah, Ken, what? No, uh, no reverse for us on the BAE 146. But it had the big, uh, the big air brake. Yeah, the massive air brake at the back. The back end, yeah. I think they had it, yeah, they had it out for approach. And I, do you know who else has them? Um, I think the Fokker 100s. Yes. They have those as well. Medic one, all oh, thinking of having a takeaway tonight. Oh, now that sounds good. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, you saw a PHBFE, the Fokker at Amsterdam. I did, yes. How, Still, was, in, still in good shape? It is still in good shape. There's nothing inside it though. There's a couple of seats at the back, but the cockpit's in immense. It's all uh, glassed off. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Really is nice. Oh, good stuff. So inbound with the Swiss. Very, very delayed here uh, today, but all for good reason. John Lima saying good morning, Chris from Orlando. How are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. So currently coming up to the uh, three hour mark here at London City Airport, eight minutes past three, so that's 15.08 here in the UK. So stood before you is an Embraer 190E2, uh, it's two and a half years old, delivered new to Helvetic in November 2020. Uh, powered by two Pratt & Whitney, I think it's 1500 Gs. Very nice. So you get the wookie sound, basically. Yeah, um, yeah there is a Dassault Falcon in the yes. behind it. Nice. Very, very nice. And Karen, hope you're feeling okay. You, Matt, but it feels like the uh, the temperature's dropping hour by hour that we're here. Can you feel that, or are you yeah. like, yeah? No, I've done alright. We've done good. I've dressed alright. Yeah. I'm happy with myself. Sound out of my feet. <sighs> alright. And a beautiful way to wow. Let's uh, let's see if this will get this stream's Lurk Pack Award. We will see. They don't flare quite as steeply in these. It's got a lot of ground effect. Nicely done. Look how big those engines are. <laughs> Beautiful. There we are, 
versus Stowed. So heading down to uh, the remote stands. Well, we got one of the Swiss at least. Petros Chalk, how are you doing? And Jeanette is saying it's uh, two degrees why I'm set to drop to minus four tonight. Oh dear. Uh, Helen W saying three degrees in Maida Val. Uh, Ian Clarkson, thank you so much, mate. Thank Honestly, you. yeah, the technical info, love that. Enjoy it, my friend. No, um, it's, I've, I've, I've missed all of this massively, so thanks to everyone for popping in. Brandon J, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. <laughs> yeah, Karen, literally beautiful. And greetings from Athens, Petros. Oh. Right, so heading down there on the. Uh... Yeah, to, quote, to quote Chris. Beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that. AD Wright, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well, my friend. Oh. What's our temperature, Matt? Can we have a look at our, uh, our weather and check our temp? So, going to four flight on the weather observation on the Meta. Four degrees. Four degrees. Doesn't feel like that. And then we got our biz jet, Salt Falcon. Coming in on his Inbound. way. Mm -hmm. uh, Wayne, uh, it's uh, predominantly uh, yeah landing gear. That's a big one. Uh, uh, it uh, will corrode and whatnot, which can damage it. And also uh, the wing roots um, and the kind of stresses put on the wings. If the wings are flex down and they've got almost the force of gravity from above them all mm. it's going to degrade the skin over the top of the wing and also the bottom of the wing uh, whereas when it's flying there's a lot of pressure from also underneath so they they last a lot longer and the, and, and the wing roots themselves like where the fuselage meets the wings if that's constantly being pressed down yeah you can't keep an aircraft for too long So this should uh, taxi all the way. So if anyone knows anything about this biz jet, please tell us, because once again, our biz jet knowledge is not the best. Non-existent, shall we say? Well, we know it's a Dassault Falcon, <laughs> only because someone told me it was. <laughs> they are lovely things, aren't they? Yeah, they are beautiful. I like the winglets. He's gone for the reverse thrust. See, he's being clever. He knows that the private terminal is all the way down the end. So he's just going to... Uh... He's just rolled it. I, uh... I had a little... If you need to go around. I had a little wander around the Cessna Citation down at Lakeland and yeah I couldn't believe how small they were <laughs> inside so you look at these photos and it's like you almost know they're gonna be small but they make them look quite big in all the photos and whatnot but nah I couldn't stand up straight or anything uh, Greg Hollis, big winglets for such a small plane, yeah. Well, the winglets are quite important. They've obviously worked out that <coughs> they needed. Fuel efficiency at its best. Yeah, the, uh, the induced drag, so uh, due to the difference in pressure above and below the wing, uh, trailing behind it are these massive like spiralling winds called vortices. Uh, they produce drag and also they pose quite a big danger to aircraft behind them, hence why you have all the minimum separation. 
Uh, but what those winglets do is they reduce the vortices, uh, which in turn reduces that induced drag, which then increases the fuel efficiency of the beautiful uh, of the aircraft. Caroline Wright, Ken, how are you doing? Yeah, Susie. <laughs> And on the topic of uh, drag, we've then got uh, parasite drag, uh, which breaks down into skin friction drag, which is uh, basically the kind of air molecules running across the aluminium. Uh, that creates drag in itself, which Swiss have uh, been the first to develop this new... They've basically started coating some of their 777s. Really? In this new, um, like, something. I don't really know what. And it supposedly makes makes the makes the fuselage and makes all the surfaces a lot more slippery, and ah. apparently it's going to reduce fuel consumption by like 0.4 percent, which doesn't sound like much, but when you consider how much how many millions of pounds uh, they they put into fuel, that 0.4 percent yeah exactly be quite a big saving. And then you've got uh, interference drag, which is drag from like kind of fairings and just bits sticking out and wing roots and whatnot. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, nice. Yeah. Smooth. Yeah. I reckon that's probably best one, best yeah. one, best one of the day. Yeah, but the whole fairings and whatnot. It, it's, it's incredible how much... It, it, it doesn't look like much, but they do actually do quite a lot. Like, uh, on, on a lot of the pipers, an optional extra over the landing gear are those, like, coverings, which, yep. like, the, like, the kind of landing gear cover fairings. And um, if, if you use the piper recommended cruise power settings, if you have fairings installed, you get an extra three knots of cruise. Really? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a lot, like, yeah. that... Which, 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 considering uh, their, their, their cruise is um, supposedly 115 knots true airspeed, difference between 112 115 it can over a long flight that can save a good 10 minutes of yeah i was going to say so, that yeah, can yeah. that's yeah. like that's pretty good very cool to it's immaculately in, uh, explained brilliant stuff thank you see matt can uh, matt can answer more questions than what i could guys so i'm good but i'm not this good <laughs> no, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't say that i just think it's just teamwork makes the dream work right yes it does mate it really does Michelle Johnson, brilliant stuff. And uh, Ken Watt, uh, that was Oscar Oscar Golf Hotel Echo. That's uh, the South Falcon. <sighs> Winglets are the aircraft equivalent of a spoiler on a car. Uh, Ish. Well, maybe. A, a spo the spoiler is well, like a spoiler on an aircraft. It's meant to kind of dump lift and create as much downforce as possible. But yeah, I guess you could say it's similar like to how uh, like how cars might really try and streamline their wing mirrors or something. Uh, it's a similar, similar sort of thing. All about streamlining. Yeah. Susie Q, 100%. Yeah. Which is all well and good streamlining, streamlining an aircraft, but apparently one of the biggest complaints about for, from A350 pilots is it's an absolute nightmare to descend and slow down. Really? <laughs> yeah, because it, <laughs> it's so slippery. So they said that energy management on the approach is such a great challenge in the, in, in the 350 at least. I can imagine. And Aviation Live saying, Chris pulling into London. Chris will wait for go past on the DLR. I'll give a wave. And uh, Helen W saying, quite funny, I've got you on live on two phones, but one commentary is behind the other. Do you know what, Helen? We seem to get that, even though this says that it's live, there is a lag of between 10 and 25 seconds between the platforms. So... We say it's live, but it's technically not. It's just behind. It's very weird, though. That's yeah. Some are behind. Uh, some are behind the others. Very weird. <coughs> Always. Ah, oh, Susie Q. It's incredible, isn't it? This is why we love LCY. It's just such a different, uh, such a different vibe. You know, love it here. Yeah, and another <coughs> thing with the lag, uh, when you do click on a stream, it does sometimes almost you join a few seconds behind. Uh, so just um, just enjoy. Uh, yes. Uh, so, so, so just make sure that you kind of drag that play button all the way to the right, and sometimes you can almost skip ahead about five seconds or so. 
And I see you looking. The police are really good here, Matt. Like yeah. they come up, they know. I think they're uh, aware that I'm here, sort of nice. <laughs> every week now. Yeah, I was, I was just giving them uh, the friendly nod and smile of acknowledgement. And they love it. No, it's all good. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, uh, the police were they, they were great around uh, Sanford Airport. We were we were standing around the perimeter fence during the air show. Oh, really? Yeah, so wow. We, we were like, taking photos of like F twenty twos, F eighteens. See, the thing uh, is, it, it's much like everything, Matt. If you're respectful to the place you are, and you're respectful to the people that are around you, you receive no yeah. complaints and stuff like that. So well, he just came good. and stopped to have a chat. He said he was bored. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Michelle Johnson, can they move the winglets up and down? Unfortunately not, they are just all, uh, the winglets basically all stuck in one place, aren't they? It's literally there, and they're designed that way, just to, uh, as Matt was saying, just uh, the only thing that The only thing that you might see that is like, different is uh, the, on the 777X, um, they haven't actually got winglets, they've got raked wingtips, which is similar to what uh, things like the Dreamliner or the 777 300ER yep. uh, have, uh, have as well. And that's where they kind of, instead of instead of putting an actual winglet on, they just make, they just streamline and point, like make the wingtip a bit more pointy. And that basically gives exactly the same effect. It's just different ways of doing it. Of doing it um, yeah. On the 777, um, because the aircraft is bigger and it needs more lift and whatnot, they've actually made the wings bigger, but they've had to make them so big that it will not be able to fit in the same stands that a standard 777 would be able to fit in. So to get around that, after landing, uh, the wingtips do actually fold up and they do almost resemble winglets, I guess. But uh, just know that if you do if you do see that online on the 777X, they are, they are not winglets, they are simply folding wingtips so then they can park the aircraft in the same stands that uh, pre, that uh, uh, the older versions of the 777 would be able to park in. And the reason for that, why well, they've done that, just to save cost. If they have to use a bigger stand, they have to pay the airport more money to use it. <laughs> and Magman saying, have you considered filming from one of uh, the flats in and around uh, the towers around the airport? Yes, uh, always uh, wanted to do that. But the flats in and around, as you see, uh, majority of them, especially the ones that actually overlook the airport and that have got the best view, they're all owned by uh, the local council uh, around here. So pretty much, they wouldn't want you uh, in there filming or doing anything. So that's the uh, that's the only down uh, side to that. Cassie saying hello and welcome back, Matt. I've been uh, lurking today's ad magazine deadlines, but now submitted. Benji's head will explode with Matt's knowledge. Brilliant stuff. Ian Clarkson saying chilling now. Chris with a good shot of Jameson's in front of me. Uh, to your Ralph, uh, Chris and Matt, brilliant stuff, mate. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks. Alice and us, and the Swiss look quite antiseptic. <laughs> I like that. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? And there we got one from Wayne asking us, what do we make out of Virgin's con uh, controversial statements? Uh, no longer supporting the third runway at Heathrow. Uh, I'll be honest. I've I know it's a, I've I've not really looked into it, so I can't I can't really give give my thoughts on that. Um, but if I if I do end up looking into it and doing some kind of research on it, I'll more than happily voice what I think. Yeah. But I don't know anything about. I don't know much about. I, I know it's happened. I just don't know. And Wayne, yeah, I, I'm I'm the same. I, I don't know. I suppose unless you know a lot more. Well, unless we know more of the context about it, I suppose. Can't really. I don't know. I can't really look. You know. It's all good though, Wayne. Bruce, get knocking on the doors. Uh, the door flats, Chris. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Trevor Wright, hello to you all. Hope you're all well. We are, my friend. We're doing very, very well. Matt, have we got a potential departure time on that Helvetic? Because uh, I can have a look for you. Let's have a look. See what we got going on. Because it's still quiet. Uh, it's still quiet here, and uh, it starts getting dark very soon, mate. No. No. And it should, oh, uh, fifteen thirty-five. Really? Ten minutes, but I. Don't that's think, definitely not going to be. Uh, gonna, it's saying it should leave at thirteen thirty, but it's estimated fifteen thirty-five. Wow. Well, that is quick. But I, potentially I, because I no. So hang on. There's the Swiss. And there is an aircraft inbound as well. Brilliant stuff. Uh, John Lehman saying weather today in Orlando, Florida is a high of 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, stop. Uh, no need for a snow shuffle. <laughs> oh, stop. Thanks. I miss it already, John. <laughs> oh, right, so they're just oh that's uh, Alpha Foxtrot, the one that went to Rotterdam. Oh, right, okay, he's come, come back. back. <laughs> already coming back. Yeah. So they're just balled in. Uh, 
stand 10. Right to grab Alpha Foxtrot, please. Is that all right? <sighs> Chris? Would that, I be, would that be all right to grab Alpha yeah, Foxtrot, please? Yeah, no, so you, you can have no, 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 go for it, mate. It's only uh, literally on now. Uh, all right. Uh, keeping it on stand okay. 10 for the second. Thanks. I think what we'll do, though, Matt, I think we'll. Uh, We'll rock with the Helvetic, I reckon, as the last one whenever that yeah. departs. Call that like, the finale? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Stephen, I was saying when I was about eight years, mum and dad took me to Saffin on sea and I watched the planes go over. That's how I got into aviation. That's brilliant. John Lehman is living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, Matt. Yeah, let's, right, let's, if you have can, look, uh, let's have a look at this. You can even get it. Let's have a look at this Helvetic, see what they're actually doing. Because if we can see that people are boarding, there may be a... Uh, I was going to say, that is a very tight turnaround that they've got there the stairs are empty and uh, Wayne is sat oh Wayne yeah Michelle Johnson obviously these the parking obviously that they do here you obviously see how it is because there's no pushback here so it's literally they're in to make sure that they can just literally taxi straight out yeah oh. I can hear an APU running on one of them. Uh, is that yeah. APU? Something running over there. Craig Russell, morning to you. Wayne, that's crazy. Zurich weather, two degrees and heavy snow they're going back to. Nice. <laughs> He he, uh, he Americanized the uh, the Q and H there. Went one double oh eight. <laughs> All the Americans used to say that. Altimeter three double oh eight. Yeah, Greg. The the ground crews are always the uh, the best, my friend here. You right, Sorry, was that me? No, no, no. Don't go down the Don't die on us, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all good. You're all good? You're all good? There yep. we go. Sorry. Right, you're in. No, sorry about sorry. that. Someone went down the wrong way, and I'm sure you didn't want to hear that down the mic. <laughs> and honestly, guys, thanks so much for the likes and the shares today. Honestly, that's been fantastic. I've missed you all. Yeah, we've had the. Uh, it's been great. Oh, hang on, I can hear. Is that stand six? Looks like stand five and stand six are getting ready to go. Oh, this is Alpha Fox, right? Yeah, yes. I, I remember now. Come on, focus, focus. It's being stubborn. Ken Watt, thank you very much. So it's uh, departure at 15.42. Or 15.45. Gate 24, go to gate. I uh, wasted no time in uh, turning that aircraft yeah, they're around. they're going to make them run across the apron. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. Right, what are we feeling? Lur pack or slam? I'm going for lur pack. Nice, me too. Going for lur pack. Me too. I'm going to go lur pack spreadable. <laughs> you get a real sense of how steeply they come down during this bit here when you can see them approach the buildings. <laughs> Nice. Great goddess. Beautiful. Precise. Yes, yeah, Simon. Simon. <laughs> Alan Drew, hello to you, my friend. Hi, guys. Welcome back, Matt. We missed you. Brilliant stuff, Andrew. Thank uh, you. Alan, I hope you're doing well.
Jeanette, massive love to you. Brilliant stuff. And to the mods, and to Matt. Epic. And to Chris. <laughs> hey. Oh, 537 likes, guys. That is incredible. Thank you so much. Do you want the camera back, Chris? Uh, up to you, mate. Board there you are. All yours. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Oh. Medic one, take care, and we'll see you again on the next one, my friend. Golf my Charlie Alpha Foxtrot. Uh, Wayne, hundred percent. We could, we can't do this week in, week out, guys. All of this aviation stuff, honestly, without you, so humble to be able to do this. So, from all of us, thank you so, so much. A privilege being able to do this week in, week out. So, Martin Organ, great stuff as always. Chris, good to have Matt back. Brilliant stuff, Martin. Hope you're doing. Uh, hope you're doing really well, as well. He's off. Look at that. I'm going to bring you a pair. Of, I'm going to bring you a pair of gloves, Matt. That's tomorrow. Right. I've got some. Maybe you got some. I would say uh, when you're up on that roof. Bring that, uh, bring them gloves, mate, because it's going to be cold in the morning. I can yeah. assure you. It is starting to get cold now, though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, look, they're de-icing. Where's that? Wait, 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 wait. Well, I can't. The one uh, stand five. Ah, right. So there you go guys, you can see how cold it's getting now, de-icing treatment. Ah, oh, beautiful. Susie Q, really thank you so much. It, it looks clear, but it's actually green. Yeah. And it sticks, it really sticks. And then um, you've got a holdover time, which is a very, very critical thing. So the holdover time is the time by which once elapsed the de-icing fluid is no longer effective oh look at that yeah, i love seeing good. the uh, guys i love seeing obviously the uh, the airfield ops and especially like the you can obviously tell now how cold it feels like uh, where me and matt are standing that the uh, the temperature has completely and utterly just plummeted yeah. over uh, the past about 25 <laughs> minutes yeah Kevin Merry saying that must be so cold. Thanks for the show. Not a problem. Thank you so much for chewing it, uh, tune, chewing in, tuning in. Cosmos <laughs> Logic, brilliant stuff, my friend. Hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, Matt and the mods. Yeah, it's a day maker, big time. Oh. And, uh, Wayne, uh, tomorrow, I'd love to see a Virgin 330. I'm pulling an all dayer, so I'd love to see a Virgin <coughs> 330 Neo, possibly both of them, oh. Jazz and Tom, if I can. Um, I'd like to maybe see, uh, see an Etihad 350, that'd be quite nice. You should be able to see that in the morning. I'm, I'm going to see if the Silk Air 74 is coming in. Uh, and Chris S, you are correct. You should be able to see the 350 though, mate. Yeah. Like it normally departs around, I'm sure it's about half past nine, ten o'clock in the morning, and it has been a 350 um, every week. Very nice. Oh, hang on, that looks like the doors are closed up on the Helvetic. Yeah. And then, uh, Wayne asking, Alan James, thank you. Sorry, mate. No, sorry, that's all right. And then uh, Wayne asking, uh, how does the anti-ice uh, last on the aircraft? Uh, well, uh, so the de-icing fluid has a um, uh, the holdover time, which uh, is typically about 30 minutes. Um, but if you if 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 you take off and it's like 31 minutes, like that's it. Like that's bad. That's that's, that's really bad. That's yeah. like safety reports and paperwork. Wow. Hell. Is this um, why sometimes we've seen that they've had to go back for yeah. another de-icing treatment? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, the holdover time's elapsed. Uh, Alan James saying, excellent show, thank you very much. Uh, 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 Phil Toby, afternoon. How are you doing, mate? M, South Ab stream. Because uh, it's always love to hear Matt's voice. Uh, lovely to hear Matt's voice on the stream as well. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. See you all tomorrow, not a problem, Ems. All good. Jeanette saying, loved every minute of this today. What a way to start off the weekend. You smashed it today, Chris and Matt and the mods. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, thank you, guys. We made the best out of what we've uh, got going on, guys. Do you know what? I love seeing the, uh, the, the icing sort of treatment. It's incredible. Love it. Must be a cool job to do. Yeah, I reckon a very cool <laughs> job. If you notice now, though, that no one over there is uh, wearing shorts at this precise yeah, moment. Yeah, Everyone's yeah. Uh, changed from the shorts. 
wardrobe change. And the private jet as well, Karen. Beautiful. <laughs> Cassie, brilliant stuff. Susie Q, thank you so much. Honestly, and uh, it is starting to get very, very cold here now, guys. So we're going to wait for the Swiss, and we're going to do, obviously, the Swiss as our last one. I'm sure you don't mind. We're currently three hours, 20 minutes here. No way. Yes, done three, hours. three hours, 20 Whoa, minutes, mate. That's all right. It's incredible stuff. I could have sworn we've only done like an hour. Yeah, I know. See, time flies when you're having fun, my friend. Exactly. We'll do a nice long one at Heathrow tomorrow, maybe. We'll yeah. See. We'll see, we'll see how yeah. <laughs> Papa Kilo, hello to you, my friend, of 567 oh, yeah. likes. Wow, guys, you are yeah. incredible. We've got 576 watching alone on YouTube and 567 likes. That's brilliant. So we've had a very good influx yeah, of people joining us today. Incredible. Let's see if we can do 600. We might as well. Russ, yeah, especially when the wind's blowing. Saying that, me and Matt can feel the wind. There's like a, a bit of a breeze. I don't know whether you can feel that now, yeah. but there's a, a bit of a breeze that's uh, starting to come around and it's starting to get bitterly cold. And um, right, the 100th uh, Embraer Susan LCYN inbound from Prague, which is that aircraft there. Prague, that's quite far. Mm. <coughs> but if you remember rightly, this went all the way out to Mykonos. It was like three and out, three and a half. Nearly four hour flight. Why oh, it's so love to stream we want to. Chris S and the Helvetic now saying fifteen fifty five. I had a feeling that would probably be the case. But the doors are currently shut on the Helvetic. Unless um, they've closed them because it's so it's cold. It's so cold, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh hang on, right, just before <sighs> Singapore. Which, believe it or not, has come from Singapore, I think. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Now I said that, I bet it's even not. So, heading now onto 27 left, they've obviously had their runway change. Yeah, and uh, the sun yes. is... Yes, they have, yeah. The sun is fully down over there, it looks like. Or is yeah. that, or is there still a little bit of it left? Nah, it's just, it's just behind the building. It's behind the building. Uh, you've also got v uh, one of the Virgin 350s, coming in shortly behind. Uh, then you've got YMMJ, one of the BA 777s, both of which from so Delhi following in behind each other. Yankee November. This I've flown her and she's lovely. Favorite, yeah, this is favorite, right? this is my favourite aircraft here. I've not been lucky enough to fly the uh, the Swiss A220 out of here, but I it is on the plans for next year. Hopefully by September October next year. Yeah. Yeah, that's why that's what I'm hoping. You visited the flight deck as well, didn't you? Yes, I did. I only got a very, we was delayed though coming back from Amsterdam. I only got literally 25, 30 seconds in the oh, flight. Really? Literally, i have done that video of yeah. sort of scoping around. It, but luckily the, the pilots both followed the channel and they're like, oh, I love it. So they, they tune in from time to time. So it's really good. Oh, awesome. Well, I think that Postal, uh, Postal, how are you doing? Yeah, do you know what? I will have a look at this actually. I'm gonna have a look at the uh, electric coat and blanket <laughs> shall we say it's definitely uh oh actually look, looks like they might have opened the doors again on that uh on that helvetic did you um were you surprised by how big the flight deck was yeah very surprised i, I thought it was going to be absolutely tiny in this it was event, massive in the 175 yeah. at least. it was yeah, massive it was i was very uh, very impressed actually it's very clean yeah very clean those old horn yokes Up he goes, blinded by the sun. I say it every week, but I swear some of these seem even steeper. Fire 
Do you want to borrow these gloves for a minute, Matt? Nah, nah. Are you nah. sure? Yeah, it's all good, thanks. Beautiful. Sharice uh, Lucine Small, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I was the. I had 600 likes. Thank you so, so much, honestly. Wow. I'm powered up. You powered up, you brought your power bank. Whoa. VA triple next to it as well. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, you might get like an intersecting shot. Zoom out a little bit. I've tried it, I've zoomed. Nah. Oh wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Beautiful. Uh, Tina. Jeanette the pocket rocket. Literally, that was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and two for the price of one right there. Yeah, Cracky yeah. shot that was. Oh Josh, it's it's madness, isn't it? You don't I don't think you realise how good it actually is until you, you get to experience it sort of first hand. Everyone knows everyone. That's the best They do. Part. It's so niche. Wayne, I'm definitely gonna uh I'll be posting down some of them uh them shots there another aircraft currently inbound i tell you what let's see if we can get a, another look of what's going on on the helvetic right they've uh, opened up the doors again now on the uh, on the helvetic so they did doesn't look like they're boarding but it was supposed to be 13 minutes from now norman incredible climb and craig saying that ba triple seven was inbound from delhi george goddard how are you doing hope you're doing very very well Yeah, that was uh, Mike Juliet, uh, that 777. And a 777 L configuration, so three class with club suites fitted. Very nice. Oh, Ken Watt, brilliant stuff. Another aircraft over there, Matt, making its... Uh Making a left bank, yeah, can't see. Yeah. Yeah. That's the direction we came in. We went over like the south coast. Very nice. We, we did the uh, Utmet arrival. Right, okay. So we came in over the south. It was really good. Wonderful boats in Europe. Um, but if I go. Beautiful. So this is Yankee Lima. Should we get some information on it? Go for it. Oh, all the way up to stand 10. All right, so this is manufacturer 346, 12 and a half years old, and uh, delivered to the City Flyer New uh, in April 2010. Wow. Fitted out with 98 economy class seats. 
And apparently, uh, British Airways Euroflyer. If you did, you read the note, uh, the notes up on that. Apparently, they've had a certification. Or so, I think it was on Simple Flying. Oh, what the uh, the AOC? Yes, yeah. they've had all their certifications done and everything like that. So they're in a good one. And Kevin Merry saying uh, boarding at the back is that the Swiss potentially? Yeah. Right, brilliant stuff. Oh no no no. No. Uh, Bernard BCSN, great landing in London City from uh, BCN. How are you doing? Hope you're doing very well. There's the free Chris. And we've got another free. Oh, wow. It's right. Sorry, guys. I'm going to see if I can. Uh... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, in from San Francisco. Yeah, I've got an aircraft take off behind you as well. Okay, mate. I'll let you know when he's rolling. Beautiful. He's rolling. Is he rolling? You can still see that 380 in the background over there, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Absolutely incredible machine. Wow. <sighs> Alison R, how are you doing? Okay, Russell. Another over there in uh, thing. Michelle, can you? Chris is getting colder. <laughs> Where me and to be honest with you, it's it. Oh, hang on, that's uh, ah, what's it done there? So two right. seconds, yeah, just it does that. Ooh, two seconds, guys. When I'm panning up like that. Yeah, me and Matt have literally just uh, noticed, literally with the space of about 40 minutes, the uh, the temperature has just completely and utterly dipped here. Greg Hollis, thank you so much, mate. Honestly, really, really appreciate that. Tasker, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. And, oh, potentially, is this a Dash 8 that we've got... Uh, Right, hang on, I'm not liking that. What's it done here? Right. Tasker, how are you doing? Yeah, me and Matt are definitely, guys, we're definitely going to... Uh... Oh, I guess. All good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? Beautiful. All right, so uh, inbound next up is a Luxair Dash Q400, uh, Lima X-Ray, Lima Quebec Bravo. Brilliant. You know, they do look funny. 
The old tea tail as well, just looks great. Stunning aircraft. They tend to grease them. Yeah, just like that. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, me and Matt are definitely doing the uh, the Helvetic as the last one, guys. Otherwise, we're going to be frozen solid yeah. for tomorrow. Are they boarding? It looks like the back door's shut. Okay. Well, it's got five minutes to uh, schedule departure. Let's see. Luke Moulds, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very well, my friend. And Ken Watts saying it's uh, closing the last call for the Helvetic. Brilliant stuff. There better be no late passengers. That's impossible at City. <laughs> John JG, how are you doing? Hope you're doing very well. And uh, Stephen Weller from Cali, from California. Welcome along. <laughs> Trevor Wright, get a drink for you both. Thank you, honestly, Trev. Thank you. Trevor. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. That uh, really means a lot. Thanks. Jeanette, thank you. No, we will. We're, obviously, we're going to wait for the Swiss. We might as well. It's only a few minutes away now, but don't worry, Jeanette. The tube should be nice yeah, and warm. To be honest with you, <laughs> as soon as you get on a DLR, that's going to be uh, a lot. <laughs> it's a lot warmer than what my van is going to take to uh, to yeah. warm up. Yeah. You're going to patch as well, by the way. Uh, no problems. Uh, right, Jeanette. Take it. Yeah, go for it, Is mate. Right? Go for it. Yeah. Thank you. Right, Jeanette. Always a pleasure. Oh, it's been a fab stream. It has. No, we won't be ill. Don't worry. We're all good. Have a read. Been in the Lurkers Lounge most of the afternoon. Been on the phone several times. Hope you can get warmed up. Don't worry. We will be. We'll be getting uh, warm quickly. Honestly, Jeanette. Thank you so much for that. Wow. Oh. NJ, not a problem at all. You take care. Thank you, Jeanette. Much love. <sighs> Caroline Wright saying, really must get uh, my son to take me to get. I'm really bored of not being able to walk. Well, I hope you can. And Daniel, take care as well. Rachel Doors will be all good. We're literally just waiting on the Swiss. Michelle, we will do. Lewis Chapman, I wish that was our boat tied up in front of us. Oh, we will. And Michael uh, Samaza saying good afternoon from Oklahoma. Sorry. Thanks to you both for braving the cold temps to bring us the uh, awesome live stream. Michael, not a problem. As we said, we're uh, we're here. There's not really much that stops us as long as we're keeping warm. We're all right. But uh, we're coming up to nearly four hours again here today, guys. So uh, <laughs> we've definitely put the work in today. And Jamie Campbell was saying the snow has arrived for him. Oh. Bib the Boulder, afternoon to you. How are you doing? Hey. Welcome along. Yeah, Michelle, they did. Saying that I've got to stop at uh, I've got to stop at Lakeside on the way back, which is a shopping centre on the way to Essex. That's so I'm by gonna Dartford Bridge, right? It is, right yeah. by Dartford. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can get something there. Danny, not a problem at all, mate. As I said, we uh, we do a show every week and there's not much that stops us. The only thing that stops us are things like lightning, really heavy rain. That's pretty much that's it, isn't it, it? Lightning and heavy rain, that's the only thing that will stop us. Take care as well. 
and mods well yeah exactly Jeanette well done mods absolutely smashed it again today Aviation Live how you doing uh, Steve Rockwell thanks mate yeah we're gonna go and get warm we're literally uh, it's good guys because the Swiss they've now removed all of the uh, looks like the removed the stairs from the Swiss so the Swiss will be our final one of the show and he's shut down his props as well props to idle cut off beautiful pat the oak and postal saying uh, i'm right by dartford it's trippy hearing local stuff on the streams <laughs> <laughs> jamie campbell mate not a problem thanks chris matt and all you lovely mods for awesome stream well done no thank you a lot for uh, for tuning in guys honestly it's an amazing company Right, so they're just de-icing. Might as well leave it on that, mate. Looks like he's going to be de-icing the... Yeah, uh, we got him going Oh, we got him. Well. Yeah, yeah, no worries. So. Carrie T saying, uh, thank you guys. Great work as always. Not a problem, Carrie. Yeah, we'll leave it on him for the moment until he gets his uh, takeoff clearance. Clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that movie makes me crack. Michelle saying, been epic today. It's been a lovely day. Greg Hollis, uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, and Matt, even a more stunning camera work. Eloquent commentary and just being you. Wonderful again. Uh, Going to wait till the end. Let's uh, chat speed. Have fun at Heathrow. Not a problem at all. Oh, we will have fun at Heathrow. <laughs> we will have uh, fun. Stephen O was brilliant stuff. And Creighton's got a 380. Now turning somewhere. I can't see that above us. I can see a 320. Philip Jones, you know what? We got the layers and the thermals on, but it still uh, seeps through you just that little bit. Yeah. Phil Tovey, not a problem at all. Uh, I won't ask you, it does. He's ready for push and start the Swiss. Beautiful. Well, I say push and start, start. Russ, you too, mate. There we are. Down he comes. He's shifting. And uh, Rotate. Beacon Send lights it. are now on, on the Helvetic, on the Swiss. Steve Aero. Uh, take care, Chris. Matt and Mods. Brilliant. here my friend I hope you do too Alan James thank you so much Carl Lee how you doing Helen W great streaming interesting info from Matt brilliant stuff Helen right beacons are on on the Helvetic so we're counting down for the Swiss guys and that will be our last one ah I want to ask literally we was just about during the summertime if you remember that we was just about to get ready to start going live but it's not permanent guys is it the uh, new things it's just because we're uh, in the winter time now but we've had an absolute cracker yeah holly mitchell say thanks for a uh, great stream chris Back matt and mods Chris's not a problem on. at all Back to uh, and air links yes i do uh, but we've got north of us oh matt another 380 if i can potentially get it Wow, we have caught countless 380s as well here, guys. Today, we've been very, very lucky with the clear blue skies. Beautiful. So, we're going to keep now focused 
on the Swiss, which is going to be uh, the last one from us. Great Russell, the 380. <coughs> uh, Don Atwood saying, great show. Goodbye from New York's Hudson Valley. Hudson Take Valley. care, my friend. Hope you've had a, a blinding one. Uh, Navid yeah, saying, nice on that. Philip Jones, that should have been that aircraft there. Tina York, absolutely cracking, brilliant. John JG likes the 700 before the finish, please. That would be incredible. Wow. Stephen Mueller, thank you so much. <laughs> you should see it, lad. I'd like to. <laughs> Jeanette's had a lovely shot there. And Heather Reed, take care, Heather. We'll see you again. <laughs> Jim saying, yeah, so countless free. safe 380s, Jim. Not something you hear very, uh, very often at London City. So what was that? The fourth? Was that the fourth one we something called like today? That. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Uh, Ken was saying that was EK31, the uh, Dubai to Heathrow on the 380. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. So, eyes all on the uh, on the Swiss. Doesn't look like they're uh, de-icing it, mate. Doesn't look like they're doing anything over there anymore. Greg Hollis, great stuff. <laughs> Michelle, it was the um, oh, what was it? Airplane it was it was airplane. What's the that? Uh, that Victor Victor Roger yes, Roger yes, yes, yes. airplane. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, we've got one from Wayne. Be interested to know how many A380s I received. Uh, Heathrow I received before I had to return. Uh, Zool would know the answer. He's the one to ask. Uh, but if you think about it, we've got what? So uh, Cassie B would. BA have. BA have 12, Is it 12, I think, and I think 10 are in service. Well, no, no, actually, no. No, they, they are all back in service All now. back in service. Uh, so uh, BA have 12, uh, Qantas <coughs> have the one a day, Emirates have six a day, Qatar have three a day, I think Singapore have two or three a day. Uh, who else have we got? That's all at the moment, there's no, there's no Korean. I'm sure I've forgotten one. I'm not Malaysian anymore, actually, yeah, that's probably what I was thinking of, Malaysian. Yeah, I reckon, yeah, a lot. <coughs> I think the, the, the airport that gets the most 380 movements in the world, uh, at least pre-Covid, was uh, LA, LAX. Was it really? I yeah. thought it would have been Dubai. Ah, you know what, yeah, but maybe, sorry, maybe I mean like... Uh, oh, what, uh, different, different airlines, different yeah, airlines. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, movements, yeah, probably Dubai. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, Lucy San, hope both of you stand. We will be, we're, we're trying our best. And the Swiss is now on taxi, guys, so that is good. And obviously the Swiss will be the last one from us. We're gonna go and get warm. degrees, <laughs> five Stephen, don't worry. Yeah, right, good man. Uh, Jim, uh, British Airways, I can tell you for a fact, regret uh, getting rid of, rid of the 747s. Uh, they got rid of them solely on the fact that they thought that it would take until 2023, 2024 for air travel to get back to normal, mm -hmm. which is when they would get the 777Xs. Is that going to happen? No. no. Are they going to be short of long-haul aircraft now? Yes. yes. So, <laughs> so they, they are massively regretting it. The uh, thing is that this is, this is the thing that does make me... Uh, them aircraft were bought, paid for, and in immaculate condition. A majority of them had the upgraded cabin. Yeah. So why, why take it out? Like I, I understand. Like I do, but it was, it was. And the thing is, they gave them away for near enough nothing. Now, hundred thousand pounds to scrap them. Like you know, and the the ones that are preserved were given away for free. So it's like, yeah, it was, it was a bit like premature. Well. You can, I think you can understand, like hindsight, hindsight, hindsight is a wonderful thing, thing. <laughs> it is mate. Like in, a, in, a, in a kind of spur of the moment thing, yeah, like it was definitely the right call. Yeah. Um, 
personally, it would have been like I'm 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 not going to tell BA how to run their airline because no, they know. I have no idea where 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 to even start on that stuff. But like having seen what what airlines like Etihad and Lufthansa um, did with their uh, A380s, just mothball it, them. Yeah, it, it would it would it would be interesting to see had BA kept and just stored the seven fours, would they have brought them back into service? I think I think they would have, especially on the things like the New York route where it was predominantly 747s that were operated yeah. like it, it would have just made sense that's i mean i, I suppose we're saying that because we just missed the aircraft like, you know. <laughs> yeah but also speaking of uh, uh, ba at new york uh, some other in other news uh, ba moved to terminal eight yes they have jfk now uh, goodbye terminal seven. seven i think they're knocking it down on expanding something into something it. else um, right so the finale the finale from us Yeah, no, that's there now. Nice. Terminal Eight, and what I what I do want to know, which I think would be quite interesting, mm. I need to see: Do Terminal Eight have A380 gates? If so, would BA maybe deploy the 380 to New York? That would be lovely to see, because it would be the it would be the capacity that they need. Yeah, just the only issue is they haven't put the club suites in. No. And BA almost have a thing where they kind of promise club suites to New York. Yeah. It's, it's, it's like one of those routes that something has to go seriously wrong. All right, well, here's the, uh, the E190 E2 from Helvetic uh, finishing off the show. You hear those wonderful sounding Pratt & Whitney. Geared turbo fans. Producing half the volume <laughs> of those other Embraers. <laughs> Uh, Wayne, uh, there are still 747 stored in Madrid, uh, but I believe like that they, they are not in airworthy condition, and they are. I don't stored. even think they're owned by yeah. BA anymore. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, yeah. Weren't they all put as bem on the Bermudan Register or something as well? And I think there's only one more 747 intact at Kemble as well. Um, Thing is though, that's all been ripped out, isn't it? It's yeah. more of a function suite now than anything. No, 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 no. But like, um, oh, uh, right, like, yes, sorry. Oh, um, like in the kind of line to be scrapped. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no not a. It's, it's, it's not Victor Bravo. Um, that's the one that they're preserving, but it's it's, it's another one that you might get an intersecting <sighs> shot with. Is that? It, no, it's too high. Yeah, the 380 is too high. It looks. Yeah. And uh, we've got uh, Bruce Philip Jones, uh, Jeanette McKenzie, thank you so much, guys. Uh, Josh Armstrong, thanks very much for tuning in and uh, see you at some point soon. Hope and what a beautiful, oh, sorry, Matt. No, after you, Chris. No, no, no. I was going to say, what a beautiful ending passing shot that was. That was incredible. Yeah. Wait until you, yeah. And uh, we'll see you all with more of them a bit closer up, hopefully, tomorrow morning, <laughs> <laughs> which would be nice. Uh, East Anglian, thank you very much. Incredible. Right. Right then, guys. So, done that it again. Amazing. I loved that a lot. That was absolutely great. So, coming up to nearly four hours, uh, we done it there. Max Jet, how are you doing? Seven Mueller, not a problem at all. Absolutely brilliant. Right then, guys, once again, I want to say uh, thank you to all you lovely lot for tuning in. I know that it's uh, earlier, obviously, during the winter months, but it's only a few months of, uh, obviously, earlier streams at London City. Um, but once again, we've had a blast. It's been incredible to have... Uh, it's uh, been incredible to obviously have Matt back here. We've uh, we've all missed him. I can definitely say I've that you as so one much. thing there. So it's... Uh, Thanks it's all good matt anytime mate and you know that uh but no listen round of applause to the mods thank you to everyone that uh hit the like button subscribe their new subscribers everyone that donated honestly thank you uh once again can't say thank you enough yeah, thank um you guys. so yeah basically mods yeah, smashing so it that's uh jim lorraine simon tina <coughs> and wayne uh as our mods so thank you so so much for and nearly 700 likes guys i mean that's in, that's incredible you know it, it, a one-to-one -one ratio amazing absolutely 
amazing. So we're going to pack up now. Matt's going to go and get warm. I'm going to go and get warm. And a massive and, uh, uh, well done and thank you to Chris, who's the big boss running everything <laughs> and uh, doing an amazing job. So. We're all yeah, good. Chris is always saying thank you, but we need to thank him. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm humble yeah. and I thank you a lot, mate. So, <laughs> no, it's absolutely great. Right then, guys. So from... Uh, the dockside here at London City Airport from the mods, from me and Matt. I will see you all again tomorrow for the uh, finale of the week at London Heathrow. So I'll leave you with that lovely passing shot of obviously the, uh, the city over there. And uh, hope you all stay safe for this Friday, whatever you're doing. So guys, take care and I will see you all again in the morning. See you later. Good night.